Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Jets Afterburners. Again, New York Jets Stand 16. Liam, and we have a guest co-host here, Eric, a.k.a. Infrared Jets. Yes, sir. So, Eric, in the background, bobbing his head. Everybody loves yeah. it. Everybody yeah, loves yeah. It. That, that, was, that was some <laughs> good tunes it. back there. <laughs> and now Love the cream it. of the crop. The cream of the crop right here is Matt O'Leary. I mean, it cannot get any higher than this. So, welcome, Matt, to the show again uh, we're going to pick your brain. There's a lot of stuff to go over uh, in such a short time frame. So uh, welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, man. Very cool. It's That's that awesome. crazy time of year where, once again, like always, the Jets fan base is divided uh, on multiple different topics. You, you got, as Jake Asman says, the Bauer boys, and then you got the, <laughs> the offensive linemen, and then we got the uh, the new permanent legacy jersey. So I guess we'll start off with that. Matt, what are your thoughts? I've, I, they seem like they're universally loved, those jerseys, by all of us included. I'm sure. I, I mean, Dan's pretty much wearing the OG one. Psh, what? O'Brien, yeah. baby. I met him yeah. last year. <laughs> and, and then you got, like, the crowd that says, like, oh, you know, I just want to win. But, like, yeah, but, like, you want to look good while doing it as well. And uh, exactly. I'm a fan of it, personally. I like the logos and everything. I'm, I'm glad to get rid of the coffee bean right here. So that's going to be getting replaced <laughs> sooner rather than later. <laughs> but if you – if Eric has the uh, sweatshirt on. I'm not a fan of just the wing. Like, I, I don't, what the hell is that all about? But Matt, I want to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, I really think they did a good job with this uniform rebrand. They really needed it, especially after just how bad that last era was in the, the Gase and early or late stage Darnold, Zach Wilson era. Just not, not good. A lot of, a lot of bad memories there. But I think they got the redesign right. I was excited to see the green and the black. Uh, version of it after we saw the white legacies last year i'm with you i think that that one logo where it's kind of like just the wing and the oval <laughs> that looks a little weird but like the, the jerseys are legit and uh immediately ordered a garrett garrett wilson number five jersey after nice. me, that, that switch had to do it uh so i'm excited for that to come but yeah i think you know for the most part people really like it and yes we all care about winning them that's the most important thing but you gotta look good too while you're playing yeah absolutely you gotta look like an a real nfl franchise and you know this does it so uh Definitely. eric dan what, what do you guys think about it eric um, you go first my man uh to be honest with you yeah, i've been a i've been a diehard since 89 at nine years old so i hate it to be honest with you i hated all our logos except for this one right here this one right here yeah you know scream of the crop um the, with the the n and the y in the back with the with the jets logo in the front i didn't like that to be honest with you for 20 years i, I hated it it was just too much distraction going on because see me i'm an artist I, I love art when i see too much in a logo it just it throws me off completely but this right here it's got to stay forever that's the one man yes sir. that's the one, one. that's yeah the one. that's the one Dude, i fell in love with <laughs> you know echoing what Eric said, this this brings back so many memories, man. As a Jet fan, seeing Eric McMillan, green helmet, all white, intercepting Dan Marino for a touchdown, yeah. Freeman McNeil, Ken O'Brien, even, even Pat Ryan. Like those old quarterbacks, Al Toon, Wesley Walkers, it brought back everything that I remember as a kid watching the Jets. You know, yeah. the last... It was that uniform combo that, like, like, like you said, Matt, it was that gay stench and you couldn't get rid of it. And it's crazy because you, you can't get any more positive than Robert Sala. So if he couldn't like 
use his exorcism skills of being positive to like get rid of all that stuff. <laughs> Nothing can. This is the best move that the Jets have done, I think, since hiring Bill Parcells. Like Bill Parcells, even though I like I like those, you know, the the dark face mask and all that, he knew change was needed in that franchise. And dude, all we needed was that one year in those old school 1960 jerseys in 98. We went to the AFC Championship. And I'm expecting that this year. What do you think, Matt? Sign me up, man. I would absolutely take a run to the AFC Championship this year. I'm I'm hoping that's where this thing goes even further. Would be would be great. Sign me up. They got to end the playoff drought, but you know, to me, they can't just go nine and eight, sneak into the seventh seed, and then you know, bow out in the first round. That's that's not enough for me. I think this team has has to win some games this year uh, and make a little noise in the playoffs. Win it with a couple games, you know, maybe go on a run, win the whole thing, but. Yeah, I, I have pretty high expectations for this team. I don't want to see them just sneak their way in and then bow out right away. They gotta, they gotta do some damage. And there's no reason that they should either. I, I, that on, I feel like we say this every year. You, you go back to any podcast from last April. Mm -hmm. On paper, they're a very good team, and there's no reason that they shouldn't make a push at the playoffs. Now, the only concern that I have, and I'm not trying to be the negative fan, besides Aaron Rodgers and and not just Aaron Rodgers, the entire team staying healthy. Um, is the coaching staff. I do have a little bit of concerns if Robert Sala can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Andy Reid and, uh, you know, just those caliber of coaches. Um, does that scare you at all? Or do you think that there's enough talent that they can overcome maybe some coaching uh, deficiencies? Yeah, I think it's a fair concern. I think going into Sala's, what, fourth year with the team, he's still a little bit of an unknown. Uh, there's some things that I think he does really well. Like, He's a player's coach. The guys obviously love playing for him. He's never lost the locker room in a couple of really bad seasons, which you know I think we, he deserves some credit for. Um, but at the same time, we've never really seen him with a real quarterback, unfortunately. Like Zach Wilson's bet was really, really bad, and they started Trevor Simeon and Tim Boyle in games last year. Right. There's some legitimate concerns about his game management style, um, but I, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt a little bit because we haven't really seen this full plan Put in place yet you know with with aaron Rodgers in here so i'm hoping that rogers and the talent can overcome some of the things like hackett i think is the potentially the the biggest issue there but yeah. if rogers is just basically calling yeah. the plays at the line of scrimmage i think they'll be all right that's what yeah. i look at it as well same thing i mean if you think about it he might have just had one solid quarterback in his whole entire tenure and that's that's mike white if you think about it look yeah I, I want to know your views on this because I was all for bringing back Mike White last year, even though Zach was Aaron Rodgers' good friend, this and that. But wasn't that the right thing to do just to bring back a solid quarterback, backup quarterback, just in the event, God forbid, he goes down as he did? Yeah, they, they definitely should have brought in another quarterback. And to me, there's no denying that Mike White was uh, better than Zach Wilson the last couple of years. My only concern with Mike White was when he came into games, he, it seemed like he got banged up. Uh, he missed some time. Uh, he had to leave games a couple of times with injury. So um, that was my only really gripe or concern with him. But yeah, I mean, I was saying in videos last year, I was saying like they, they need another backup quarterback in here because you don't want to be in a spot where you have to turn it over to Zach Wilson. Yeah. And unfortunately, Rodgers gets hurt four plays in, and we're right back to where you were in 2022 with Zach Wilson as your starting quarterback. Right. Now, I'm glad that you mentioned Zach Wilson. I have, I have a question about Zach Wilson. He's still on the team, and uh, that's probably the biggest concern if you ask some people. Some people are for bringing him back. Hey, you know, maybe he'd be a good third backup quarterback, and uh, they're going to be too tempted to play him, in my opinion. And if you noticed, uh, there's some pictures going around the internet that he recently sold his house in New Jersey. So I think that's pretty much a telltale sign. Yeah. At what point do you think he's going to be off the team? Do you think he gets moved during the draft? Do you think that Woody Johnson goes against what he said to the public and actually just releases him if there is no candidate? Or do you see maybe like a surprise team that is willing to take a chance on him? Yeah, I think there's a chance that he gets moved on draft weekend. Like maybe the Jets attach Zach Wilson and one of their sixth or seventh round picks and they jump up or you know something some sort of pick swap that includes zach wilson but there's a very real possibility that they might just have to have to release him and if it comes to that like i know woody probably doesn't want to bite the bullet and just you know pay the five and a half million dollars to a guy who's not going to be on the team but 
at that point, I think you're kind of just better off. Like it, it's unfortunate that it didn't work here, but I don't think you need to what at this point triple down on your on your mistake. It's okay to admit that you know it, it just it didn't work out. Yeah, it's best for both sides to move on. He's not going to sign another contract after this anyway, so I don't see what the point is of having him as your third quarterback. I'd rather, if you want a, a young developmental quarterback, I'd rather take someone in the mid rounds of, of this year's draft than run it back again with Zach Wilson as quarterback three. Well, with you, that being, I'm sorry. With, with that being said, I mean, because I, I want to like end the, this whole Zach Wilson thing. We have to best camp compensation for, for the Jets. Do you think a seventh rounder? Um, a bag of sand while touring the desert in Egypt or 10 used Disney tickets <laughs> because oh, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with him. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about him anymore. <laughs> it was a second overall pick that oh, not Lord. for nothing. Joe Douglas got an enormous mulligan, huge. Not a lot of GMs would have survived this. Yeah, I'm done with right. Zach Wilson. He's, you're he's right. done. I think after the draft, after we get, I, I'm hoping that we can get Brett Rattler in the fourth, if he drops there or Joe Milton, I'm cool with it. But Zach Wilson, I, that's it. After even what Woody Johnson is, is doing, like even after the owner's meeting, he just continues to talk and make his value even drop that much. It's yeah, like, right. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with him. Yeah, you're right. We yeah. didn't have a backup quarterback. <laughs> Yes, just an insane. But we're trying to we're trying to owner. sell our quarter. Yeah, you know we're trying to sell that this guy could be salvaged, but we didn't have him. Yeah, the yeah, thing with sucks. the thing with me is with, with Zach is like, mm. well, the quarterback position anyway. I've been wanting to get a, a QB in the fourth round. Yep. Um, the thing is, we we have not gotten a quarterback to throw for over twenty tutties since two thousand fifteen with Fitzpatrick. I understand Sam Darnold did it with nineteen, but I'm like I'm excluding that. We need to address the quarterback room pronto. So in the fourth round, I hope and I'll pray. I'll pray we get one. We land a rattler or something like that. Cause uh, you know, it's it's just a big issue with me. We we got can we hit on a quarterback for once? Like, like, you know, it's only right. We gotta hit. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy. I think I'm with you though. I would take a swing on a quarterback, Spencer Rattler. Jordan Ooh. Travis, Michael Pratt, one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Third, fourth round in that range. I think it'd be worthwhile to at least see. And who knows? Maybe, you know, worst case scenario, they end up being an okay backup for you for a few years. That's yeah, fine for a fourth definitely. round. Pick. Now, Matt, do you see any situation that Zach is on the team in 2024? Uh, I don't, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I know that Woody's come out and said, like, we're not just going to cut him, but <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 think if, if they don't find a trade partner, I don't really see a scenario where he's going to be in there in training camp taking snaps with the team again. You know, I, guys, I don't know. guys, could you imagine the locker room with Zach Wilson there? Not going to happen. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. I'm, I'm just, you know what? I'm so happy that the draft is next week that we could segue from that morgue yeah. to like what the new players are going to be bringing in. So, Let's go right into the draft. And again, let's end this debate, right? So at 10, this fan base has been completely divided. So Matt, at 10, are the Jets going with Kool-Aid McKinstry or General Booty? <laughs> yeah, or I Knoble. Or Knoble. Knoble. Knoble's Knoble. my guy. Yeah. That's five foot seven, one ninety eight, coming right yeah. out of college. Right yep. out of college, he's going to be racing at the uh, Kentucky Derby. A fast, well. yeah, big, Very big fast. riser of the board. Uh, <laughs> honestly, and I don't know where you guys are are on it because it's a it's a very polarizing topic. But mm -hmm. if they can't come away with anything on the offensive side of the ball, just about. I'd be happy. Like, yeah. I think you can make a strong case for Bowers. I think you can make a strong case for going offensive line or wide receiver. Just yeah. come away with one of those three things in the first round, and I think that would be an immediate upgrade for this team. Yes, so sir. pretty much anybody besides Dallas Turner? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. I'll There's no Turner. way. No well, way. You know what Salah says? You can never have enough pass rushers. Oh, <laughs> stop. No. That, that haunts me. That haunts I, me. Oh my you're God. right. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Alt's off the board, all the receivers are off the board. Fashanu, Fawaga. I would love Faltanu though, or Alt. Imagine. I would love Alt. That, imagine them. Imagine them. Like this is the thing, because like about a month ago, I wanted um Faltanu or Alt, but like to form a band of brothers, 
around Titman and ABT. They'll be around the same age. Mm-hmm. So them three together, you know what I mean? Like growing up together and like, you know, forming that wall for not only for A-Rod, but for Brees Hall as well yep. would be immaculate. It would be immaculate. Wild Wave has so. a question for you, Matt. Are we trading up for one of the big three? Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah. If Odunze makes it to eight where Atlanta is, I would say maybe. I don't think they're going to give up the capital that it would take to get up to take Marvin Harrison or Malik neighbors. Um, right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe they would get aggressive and, and do it, but I, I could see them maybe moving up a few spots and taking a Roma Dunze, but I don't know as fun as it would be for Malik neighbors or Marvin Harrison on this team. I think it'd be <laughs> awesome, but I just don't know if they were going to be able to pull something like that off. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? I'm, I, I, I see every scenario. Every scenario that the Jets could pull off here as a win. And I know I should have learned yeah. my lesson. I'm, I'm a lifelong Jet fan. It's not going to turn out well. But not this time around. You, If, let's say, Alt drops a seven, right, or Maserati Marvin drops somewhere there, and Joe Douglas wants to move up, go for it. It's all in. Or stay back. To me, the most likely scenario, I know you're going to call me crazy here because uh, we did a mock draft last Thursday. But I think one of the three teams that are behind us at 10, I'm talking about Las Vegas, Minnesota, and Denver, they're all hot for a quarterback. And I'm not even talking about the quarterbacks that are in the top, what, 10 or top seven. I'm talking about Michael Penix. I think that it's going to surprise a lot of a lot of fans that those three teams are in heat for this guy. So now... It puts us in a perfect position. You're at 10. Yeah. Yeah. Las Vegas is calling. Denver. Minnesota. What do you have? Like a lot of you know, fans are saying, why would the Vikings move up one spot? Or like the you Bear- said, Dan, the-, the, the Raiders offering seven first round picks. Oh, uh, well, you know, I I, I mean I <laughs> exaggerated, but look at the Bears when they, they drafted Trubisky, they just went up one. So anything could happen. To me, it's to me, that's the best scenario. You drop down to 13 and you could still get Bowers. And now, in my opinion, my mock, my real mock draft is Bowers. Then on the second round, Xavier Leggett, third round, Cameron Kitchens, and in the fourth round, either Rattler or Milton. And I think it's a home run. That's me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think it's great if you move back a couple spots and are able to get a second round pick after it. And then you take two swings yeah. in the top 50. I'm I'm all in on that. I think that would be a really good decision. We got to get a second rounder, though. Yep. We got to get it, man. But like, you know, like Dan said, it's you could win in any situation. As long as we go offense, I'll be mm-hmm. happy, dude. Yep. I'll be happy. So right now, Matt, like, what is your dream pick at 10 for the Jets, uh, most realistically? Um, good, Really good question. I, I think... I like Fotanu the best uh, offensive tackle, um, but in like my dream scenario, I'm moving down a few spots, getting a second round pick, taking Fotanu still in the first round, and then taking a receiver in the second round. I think that's the way that I would go about doing it. Um, I like guys like Ricky Pearsall and Roman Ooh, Wilson in the second round. Those Florida. Are there that, you go. Oh my God, he's awesome. Yeah, yeah so go. I think there's a lot of talent at the wide receiver position this year. And I think you can get some guys in the second round who could come in and produce right away. So that'd be my preferred route. Again, like I'm not going to be crying on draft night if they take a weapon in the first round because it's going to be a lot of fun in this offense. But you look at the offensive line and, you know, Tyron Smith is one of the best when he's on the field, but he misses time every year. Morgan Moses had surgery this offseason. AVT, unfortunately, has gotten banged up the last two years. Yeah. I just worry about the health of this unit. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. you, you don't have a long-term answer at tackle. So I think Fotanu could be that long-term answer and also your insurance policy this year. You couldn't be more right, man. I mean, we have one of our great callers, Afram, and he is, he's been saying it from day one, offensive tackle. And how can you not go wrong? Liam, same way, right? You, offensive tackle. I mean, if there's anything that we can learn from last year is we got to protect our 55-year-old quarterback. Like, we have to do everything that we need to, to keep this dude upright, because I hate to name this guy's name, but he's done it. Tom Brady. When Brady went to the Tampa Bay, 
Yeah. They had the gr the greatest blueprint, even better than what Denver had with Peyton. Protect this guy at all costs. Give him somewhat of a run game, which, again, Aaron Rodgers would obliterate that because of Brees Hall in the back. Now, yeah. who would we get as HB2? Do we get Hunt? Do we get a Zeke? I'm leaning more towards Zeke because it, it, it's, it's short-term. Yeah. Um, that, that short yardage. You, Matt, Liam, Eric, we've all been in that situation. It's third and one. As a Jet fan, heart of hearts, you know. You know we're not getting it. We're not getting yeah. that one but, damn yard. But fourth but, and inches, you best believe. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Fourth, yes. fourth and inches. <laughs> Fourth and inches are going to get it. Uh, oh, but Lord. I think Zeke would do it. Zeke would be that kind of monster that Fournette was to Brady. I Just agree with that 100%. Zeke's Damn. a name that I brought up a ton. Even like he's not the guy that he was in Dallas seven right. years ago, but can he be your third down or goal line back? Absolutely. In Absolutely. short yardage situations? Absolutely. Yeah, man. And not only that, a, a, an offensive line is going to improve the running game as well. Wow. And and see that that's kind of like the big argument, at least like in my opinion, with myself. I argue with myself all the time. Like, <laughs> do you, it's like, do I you do want too. like the like, like somebody like a Bowers or like a wide receiver in the first round where they're gonna be a day one contributor, or are you gonna have in, in a going all in year, of course, or are you gonna have a uh an offensive lineman sit and learn from one of the some or some of the greatest offensive linemen in the last 10, 15 years? So, like we all had said, I think we all, we could all agree offensive line. And it's not just to keep 55-year-old Aaron Rodgers up who uses a stairlift to get into MetLife Stadium every week. It's it's also going to improve the running game. It's going to yeah. it's just going to do a lot. And yeah. people are saying, oh, well, Bowers can block too. But if you want somebody to block, you get somebody that blocks. You get a offensive lineman. Th that, that's just my yeah. personal opinion. Yeah, man. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I think it's so much more than just protecting Aaron Rodgers. Like you said, it opens up the running game as well. Like it, it does. There's layers to it, in my opinion. Yeah, but you guys know about that new that new rule with the what's that? The drop, yeah, the, the hip the, drop. The drop hip, hip, hip okay. Drop, yeah. All right. Can you guys imagine Brees Hall running through a gap, hitting the secondaries, and then just we seen it last year. He, he 65 yards. And then now with this new rule, forget about it. It's gonna Very be true. game over. Game but over. you you know somehow some way that's gonna that rule is gonna burn us. It's oh. gonna burn us. <laughs> With our defense, that. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. We, we they'll, should be all right. Yeah, they'll CJ throw, Mosley's gonna go for like a hip drop tackle and be like, come on. <laughs> Dude, they'll they'll throw a flag on us uh punting, punting the ball on the new kickoff. <laughs> yeah, oh, flag. It's you kick too, too short. hard. Yep. Too short. Oh, I'm hoping God. that like, we don't find ourselves in like an injury situation, but hey, maybe some roughing the passer calls this year. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. they finally they got a couple finally this past last year. year. <laughs> but I think in finally, finally, they were the only team that like didn't get one. Yep, crazy. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Man. I'm gonna def I'm gonna defend this. Um, look, I'm not on the Bowers train. Like, oh, you gotta get him at ten. If we got him, cool. But I'm gonna defend it because the film that I watch, it's not just the highlights. It's full games. He shows a lot of Tony Gonzalez slash Gronkowski that he's he's a different difference maker, matchup nightmare, and it's one of those where it's another weapon for Aaron Rodgers. Imagine what he can do for Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson over a thousand yards with two bum quarterbacks, two, two or more. The only real quarterback that he had was was Aaron Rodgers for four plays. Yeah, I'm thinking. Garrett Garrett is we going that, to we got that preseason touchdown against the Giants. Oh, another one. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, you're right. <laughs> someone like Bowers, who who again, we don't know if Mike Williams is gonna be 100 percent I mean, just for the mere fact that Los Angeles wanted him back, you kind of see that the rehab was going well. So that gave me a little bit of solace. I'm like, all right, you know what? We got him. Hopefully he'll be ready for week one, week two. But it's yeah. players that take off pressure off of Garrett Wilson. And if everything stays put well, I honestly think he's going to demolish Brandon Marshall's uh, record here with the Jets. I think he's going to have 1800 yards. Easy. There's no reason that he can't. He's that talented, Oof. right? Like he's yeah. done he had an 1100 yard season with Zach Wilson and Joe Flacco throwing him yeah. the football. So oh my god. I love if get, Garrett. 
Yeah, if you get 17 games of Aaron Rodgers with Garrett Wilson, yeah, you get we, you can do that. We we actually call my son came up with the nickname uh for Garrett Wilson, Rubber Band Man. He's like he's like because his elasticity, his elasticity yeah. on the field is he's like a rubber band. It's 100%. unmatched in the NFL. It's unmatched. He's he's so slippery. Some of the you know? hits he takes too. Oh. Love it. And he always gets right back up. Yeah. Knock on yeah. wood. But he scares the crap out of us, though, doesn't yeah. he? There's a lot of times where he stays on the floor or he limps to the sideline, and I'm like, dude, I jumped oh, off my couch. <laughs> there was one play. I jumped off my couch, and uh, my son Gizmo was like, dad, dad, he's okay. He's all right. And I'm like, no, no, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, Da-da. And then he got back up. I was like, oh, okay, damn, you was right, Giz. All right. And then I yeah. He scares like, me, man. Like, yeah, I, I, man. I, I feel like he, you know, he goes to the sidelines. He's going to jump into an urn. <laughs> and then he comes back and he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He's like, I'm good. I'm all right. Yeah. Let's go. Love him. All right, Matt. So we, we have a couple more minutes with you. So we covered uh, jerseys. We covered draft. Do you think that there's any other moves in free agency that the, that the uh, Jets are going to make after the draft? Or, and I want to know also, what are your thoughts so far on the Jets free agency? Yeah, I think they've done a really good job through free agency to set themselves up for some flexibility in the draft. Like if you asked me two months ago, I think it would have. I would have absolutely said it's offensive line, no matter what. But then you go out, you you trade for Morgan Moses, you sign Tyron Smith and John John Simpson. It opens it up a little bit for you. I think they could maybe bring in a veteran running back. We were talking earlier about Ezekiel Elliott, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if they brought in uh, some depth there. And even an old friend of Aaron Rodgers, David Bakhtiari, is a name that I'm sure is going to continue to get linked to them. Um, I don't know how much more he has left in the tank after five knee surgeries, but in a depth role, I, I guess that's all right with me. I'm in. Very well I'm said. In. Very well said. Matt, we, we want to thank you so much, man, for just yeah. hopping on with us. We appreciate your game, everything that you bring to the table. Uh, your content is like no other. So just by giving us this opportunity of just showing up on a new podcast here, Dude, kudos, brother. Yeah, Thank you're you. the best. You're the best, man. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, happy to come on and do do some time with you. So awesome. if there's anybody out there that for some reason is unfamiliar with your work, where can people find you? <laughs> yeah, so I'm on uh, YouTube and social media at Matt O'Leary and why we're talking New York Jets football. Try to keep it light. Have some fun. Uh, so, you can, yeah, you can check me out there. And also you're going to be doing a draft event. You're going to be part of a draft event. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So uh, for five years now, we've done a live stream over on Talking Jets for all three days of the draft. But this year we're doing our first in-person event uh, at the main event on Long Island. We have like, I think it's like 62 Jet fans coming out, going to hang out with us and, and party and react to the to the draft. So Holy crap, 62? Yeah, we got a we got a That's nice a group of people coming out. We have gonna have open open bar buffet through the night. Yeah. It's gonna be really cool. Looking, you got room. For, you got room for three more. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we had to cut ticket sales off to let the you know in time. But we got to get yeah. you out next year, man. It's, yeah, it's gonna be 100%. a blast. Definitely. Well, yeah, Neil's Neil's planning on crashing it. From what yeah, I yeah, that that is true. We got to watch out for Neil. Um, chaos, just chaos too. Yeah, the whole the whole thing. He's, so he's it, it's gonna one. be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. And if you guys really want to have some fun, you could always stop next door. You know, there's a new store that recently opened uh, right in that area, too. So, you know, have you guys feeling uh, nice? You nice. guys will be feeling like Snoop nice. Dogs. <laughs> Perfect. That's good to me. Do I think I think I know what you're talking about? And I'm from Queens. <laughs> Everyone knows. OK. Everyone. All right. Stilettos. <laughs> anyway, Matt, go. thank you so much, brother. Anytime, guys. Thank you, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, that was the first half hour of the show. Matt is a sport, man. Uh, yes, it can't get absolutely. any more professional than that. Yeah. But it can, actually. Oh. It can get a level up. And we're going to, I mean, bring on Senor Chris Lepresi from WFAN. My man, thank you so much for coming Chris, on, bro. Thank you, brother. Uh, my pleasure, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can uh, uphold that intro you just gave me there. I caught the back end of Matt there. He's locked in. He's on top of it. He's got the, yeah. the pro setup. You're all looking great, by the way. I feel out of place here. Uh, I've just got the standard kitchen behind. I don't have the cool mic That's stand, okay. the pro That's mic okay. stand like you guys have. I've just got my <laughs> crappy Amazon USB mic here. So, you know. 
Dude, uh, you got an amazing, you got an amazing hairline, dude. I would kill for yeah, that yeah. hairline. I got me, the bro. Italian M. Look at me. And look at all that cabinet <laughs> so, space you have. You have under cabinet lights. I see, uh, dude. You don't know, be I too, throw, don't be too I, embarrassed about your kitchen. I <laughs> yeah, throw dude. on the under cabinet lights because the overheads. Actually, this one. Let's see. Now this side. That one right there. That hi hat and the one. But I figured they were going to be distracting in the background. So we threw on the under cabinet just to try and uh, keep it. I'm usually a glasses guy, but then I was getting the reflection off the computer screen and the hairline only looks good because I had hair gel in today, which is rare yeah. for me. Uh -huh. So you guys are getting the full the full experience here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's the best. man. You know, I wanted to pick your brain on this. This is something new that came out about two hours ago, and this just really upset me um, a lot here. Uh, share. So NYFC, a soccer team from Queens, they had the balls to say, you know what? We're going to build a stadium in Queens right next to wow. City Field. Wow. No way. Okay. 25,000 yes. seats. Um, and to me, it's like, Woody, why don't you call them up? Bring the Jets back to Queens. This is enough is enough. You're, uh, come on, man. Like wow. the, o the owner. It. The owner of FC and NC, whatever the, the hell it is. NYCFC, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, he doesn't have more money than Woody. There's no way, no, no way. way that he, no way, so, dude. So <laughs> team, team up with Gary V, whatever, and bring the Jets back. Instead of 25,000, make it a 50,000 wow. seater, whatever. But bring them back here, and he didn't. 000. Yeah, I can't now, speak to damn. the specifics of like zoning codes and all those type of deals. I know that this has been in the works for a while yep. and it's in conjunction with Steve Cohen and all the build up that they're doing over there near city field where, if, you know, they've had the chop shops forever. So they're trying to build up sort of that prototypical in today's day and age, you know, you get all the shopping around the ballpark or the stadium or the arena or whatnot, turning it into more of like a, you know, a downtown type feel. So I, I don't know where an NFL stadium falls into that. I will tell you this, and I, I should have checked the clip before I came on. I, I did happen to see, I was a little tied up with other stuff today, but I believe, um, and this, I don't know that this would be his neck of the woods, but mayor Adams was on with, um, yep. Evan Roberts and Tiki Barber on the fan today, or what's, uh, what Thursday, just so I don't date myself. And they asked him something about a new jet stadium. Maybe it was a West side question. I'm not sure, but I guess this whole jets building their own stadium thing is starting to kind of get going again a little bit. We all can agree. You know, MetLife's yeah. kind of. Yeah, oh, the best. Oh my like God. <laughs> yeah. I think they can get out in 26, right? I believe it is. As far as what their commitment on the the lease or the life. agreement with the Giants, yeah, I don't I, I don't know the exact date. I should, but yeah, that sounds right. It's probably coming up. I'm trying to remember what the was it twenty ten was that the first year that both teams were in? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. ten right. So and, yeah, yeah. And Bill, I mean that stadium from from the outside, it looks like like a mechanically challenged Decepticon. Like yeah. there is something that does not look right. It's, it's like horrible. very sterile yeah. and generic. And I get it. You're housing two teams in there. I know they have the, the lighting that the jets probably take advantage of a little bit more than the giants do to try to give it the, the jet color feel, but right. yeah. they're not really fooling the die. Yeah, we know what I'm, that's I'm, all about. Yeah. I only Even, live 15 minutes away and I don't like it. I live 15 minutes away, literally in Jersey. Yeah, just, and, and I and I'm uh, I'm a Jersey guy. Yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm a Jersey guy. And to be honest, yeah. going to Yankee Stadium, City Field, anything that's not MetLife or Madison Square Garden is super inconvenient for me personally. But I can understand yeah. from the fan standpoint where there's more of an appeal, wanting to have their own place, and feeling like, well, let's get back into New York rather than being over on the Jersey side. So I totally understand yeah. that. And just like even walking through the stadium, it's so depressing. It's like the yeah. dull lighting. It's very it gray is. and gloomy yeah. in there. It's gray. Gray. Yeah. gray. A lot of shades, multiple shades of gray, multiple actually. Multiple shades yes. of gray. <laughs> and not 50 shades of gray, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, no. Negative 50. Negative 50 Negative shades. Gray. Yes. Gray. Very dark. Very dark. Oh, and my goodness. It, so I, there was a couple years ago where I was, I was going to a lot of games. So it was like at the point where the ticket reps were calling me. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, I can't do it and everything. And of course, they're trying to sell me everything in the book to try to get me to come back. Yeah. And I go to week one. It took me, uh, I'm on Long Island. It took me like four and a half hours to get there. It's like the traffic there is so wow. inconvenient. And then 
So like I walk, I was late. I walk in as like Rogers is like walking off the field. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then my my dad texts me, he's hurt. And uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, what do you mean he's hurt? Who's hurt? Oh, and wow. so that's what I walk yeah. into. That's as bad as it gets, right yeah. there. Yeah, and man. then so like, and yeah. then I go with three other Bills fans, and, oh, uh, like, wow. and my girlfriend being one of them. At oh. least you. Oh wow. Oh, well, at Lord. least you got. At least you had the. Whoa. You at least you had the last laugh on that night. Yes. Alone. Yeah. True, but, so it's true. like. So at halftime, I go down to like try to get a beer because like I I, I was planning. I was like, all right, I'm gonna tailgate. I had a bunch of food. I had like a, a an 18 pack. I'm like, I'm gonna get a nice buzz, go into the stadium, and then just cheer my heart out. And that didn't happen. I ended up like running into the stadium, hearing that he's hurt, and then you know Rogers limping off the field. That's what I walk into. So like I'm ready to cry. That's brutal. At After halftime, I go down and hours. get like a beer. Jeez. So I wait online. And they say that, like, you know, it's cut off at halftime once the team, like, runs out. So I'm next in line. After waiting in line for, like, 20 minutes, I look up on the on the TV above, and you see stupid-ass Zach Wilson running out on the field. <laughs> oh, and, Lord. Oh. And then oh, so, like, I'm next to order. I'm next to order. <laughs> and I would have made it if the fan in front of me didn't take three seconds deciding what soda they wanted. And so I'm like, all right, can I just get, like, a Budweiser? Oh, no, we're not selling alcohol anymore. I was ready to kill somebody. <laughs> and I was like, I'm never coming to this stadium again. I'm like, this place is a shithole. I'm like, it's depressing. It's uh, like you said, That's almost right. fi- negative 50 shades of gray. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> so I am all in favor for bringing the New York Jets back to New York, a yeah. little bit closer to me, selfishly. Yeah. And uh, just, le- you know, just get rid of that stench of, you know, it's it's a dump that's built on. It's literally built on like a, on like a landfill. Swamp. Yeah, metal yeah, landfill. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. I, I give you a lot of credit for being composed in the retelling of that story. Mm. I, I'm guessing that in the moment that night, I um, remember, I will never were forget. a little bit more irate. <laughs> when they told me that I couldn't <laughs> get the beer, I just remember screaming at the top, I fucking hate this place. And I, I took my hat, I threw my hat in the garbage. And I just went and sat no back way. down. No way. <laughs> and then, like, my girlfriend's like, oh, stop it. I said, no, don't you, don't you tell me to stop. It is not okay. I remember yeah. freaking out. Yeah, so. That is, I mean, the, the ride alone oh, might have, four and a half hours might have broke me right yeah, there. Forget the yeah. Rodgers injury and get missing out on the beer right before the start of the second yeah. half. That's so brutal. I went, I I'm, I'm watching that at home, man. I was watching I didn't that at home. Get to see him run out with the flag, like the highlight of his jet career. I didn't even get yeah. to see it. It, no. it was the worst, man. Like, for me, it brought back, like, you know, Vinny going down, but it didn't hurt uh, that much. I, I don't know about you guys. Like for me nah, as a veteran jet fan, right? Like yeah. Eric, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at that, drinking my beer and I'm just trying to find a vein. And I'm like, this is not good, dude. This is going to be the absolute worst season yeah. of it's going to be worse than Cotite. type. Yep. And it was, <laughs> it was, believe it or not, even though we won more games yeah, than 95, so. 95, it was to the point where look at all of these players that put so much work into it. Garrett Wilson, Jermaine Johnson, Sauce, Breeze coming back yeah. from injury. And you're telling yeah. me that as the owner of the Jets, you couldn't go out there and fu- and say, yo, Carson Wentz, we know you suck, but you give us the best kind of chance to win. But no, they tried it out, Zach. He called game. them. Game. Carson Wentz called the Jets, and they That's said, right. no, thanks. Yeah. But first yeah, of all, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny had really no right reason to be at that stadium. As soon as I found out that Vinny Testaverde was coming, I think we all kind of panicked a little bit. And, yeah, the worst happened. So I, I want say- a restraining order against Vinny Testaverde. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's my man, man. That's my uh, dude. Yes. I'm loving these comments dude. coming in, by the way. Armand, is it? he's all over it. I keep seeing it flashing up on the screen there. Yep. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> – He's almost like an honorary co-host at this point as well. I, I gathered that. I love it. Chris, how do you like the jerseys? I like the jerseys. Yeah. I mean, I feel like obviously having seen the white one last year, we already had a pretty good feel of what direction they were heading in. And they were those were beautiful, gorgeous, whatever, whatever uh, adjective you want to throw out there. And such a huge improvement over what they had been wearing. Yeah. So, the you know, the reveal, the release was maybe like, muted a little bit or kind of like i'm not gonna say a letdown but just sort of like we had a pretty good feel for already what direction they were going in you knew that the the, the home green was just going to basically be the reverse and i know that they love their black all oh, a lot of these teams are into the black alternate i saw the the lions rolled out a black alternate with their uh their new branding that they put out oh, they I guess, did earlier i gotta thursday. check that out i didn't know that yeah they put it out i think it was this this evening thursday okay. um so they, they they went 
with more of a cleaner retro look, kind of like the Jets did. Mm-hmm. Other than they do have it's either Lions or Detroit still across the chest, but they have a they have a black alternate as included gotcha. in this new rebrand that they did. So I like them. I think it's I think it's a fresh look. I think it's long overdue. That last installment that they put out was I thought brutal from day one. So yeah. doesn't shock me that they put put out a new you know a, a new trio the very first year that they were eligible to do so. Yeah, I didn't expect the secondary logos though. To be honest with you, yeah, that was that was yeah. that was kind of cool. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't know, I, I don't know enough about like where are they gonna. That's just gonna be what on merchandise. That one is Definitely. it featured anywhere mm-hmm. on the actual on JetShop.com? Right? I, I think no, but I'm saying no on the game day. Like I obviously I know about oh, the helmet, oh. but the jersey itself doesn't have the no. secondary logo anywhere, right? Yeah, no, I won't. I, I gotcha. highly doubt so it. Just yeah. for stuff you could purchase, yeah. But nice to have some other options, a little. Something new, something fresh. Yeah. yeah, I guess my my one gripe about the jersey is like it doesn't like it is like a little plain. Like I I love it because you know I just like the look of it. But yeah. I I wish it did say like Jets like somewhere like on the chest or on the sleeve or something. Uh, that's like fair. the previous ones, but I, I guess that's really like my only gripe. And then I was telling Matt earlier the one logo where it's like just the plane. Like I I just don't get. I, I, it's stupid. Uh, you know. You know what, Liam? Liam, I think they're targeting women and children. I'm sure. With the yeah, I mean, that's smart that's on that. I think yeah. They, yeah, I think they're targeting women and children. And what he's targeting uh, sexy red again. That's what he's doing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have seen it. He was all over her <laughs> week one. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, woody, Woody, Woody. Yeah. But, uh, he's a he seems like a nice man, but I always say it this way. Anytime they let him get out in the public and speak about bad. his football team, no, no bueno. Shut, shut well, that a, mic off. <laughs> that's another thing we were talking about is uh, Zach Wilson. We, were, we, you know, we asked Matt like if he thought he was going to be on the team uh, in 2024. And Woody Johnson, you know, started off one conversation. I think it was at the NFL Honor saying, "Yeah, we don't have a, uh, we didn't have a backup quarterback." Mm-hmm. And then the same sentence, yeah. you know, uh, well. A couple months later, whatever it was, saying, was a oh yeah, you know, later. Like, a couple <laughs> weeks later, oh yeah, you know, it's like I feel bad for him because like he never had the opportunity he deserved to sit and learn, and you know, like he, you're trying to salvage after like screwing up that bad. So I guess I'll ask you the same question: Do you see Zach Wilson being on the Jets in 2024? And then a little bit of a two-parter: um, Do you think he's going to be like traded? Like, what, what's his uh, trade compensation? What, what do you think on the whole Zach Wilson situation? I don't see how they can keep him around uh, and it's again I, I know that there are certain things that probably worked against him that went beyond his control not to make excuses because when you're picked that high the expectations are what they are um but i just think it would be I don't, distractions not even the right word i just don't think it's necessary i don't think there's anything to be gained i don't think there's any upside to it at this point as far mm-hmm. as trade compensation I mean, you guys have seen the other deals out there for other quarterbacks that are sort of in the same category this offseason. It's not great. And you add to that what what he said publicly. Um, I really don't think there's much of a market. I think if there was, they would have moved him by now. So, I mean, maybe we get something next week in and around the draft, like a, you know, swap of third round picks or something down the road. Day th- or not, th- not uh, third round, day three pick, something down the road, something with a condition attached. But I think the reality is if they're going to get any sort of draft compensation for him, they're probably going to have to eat some of the money that he's owed. I think the more realistic outcome is that they're probably just going to have to cut bait. Uh, you have I'm, sure, to, I'm sure he'll catch on with somebody somewhere. Someone will take a flyer on him, but I don't think anybody's interested in giving up any sort of draft pick, yeah. even a day three pick. Uh, you know, if you want to talk about like a comp pick on day three, something like that, I suppose it's possible, but I just think the jets have absolutely zero leverage as it pertains to Zach Wilson right now. Yeah. I, I don't think we're getting anything, yeah. anything like not even a bag of rice, like absolutely nothing. Yes. We're going to get, you, you, you have to let him go. You got to let him go, man. Yeah, that's it. Cut beat. Um, he's yeah. what Justin Fields got. What, what, what do you get? Like a sixth or a fifth, something like yeah, that. Yeah, That's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's, and, Jones got a seventh. Yeah. And <sighs> I mean, look with fields, you know, he has the dual threat appeal, obviously not that. Zach, I mean, Zach can move obviously a little bit, but he's not, he's, you know, he's not Justin Fields. He just holds on to the ball too so much. He, he yeah. holds on to the ball. Too. Like I went to, I took my son to the, um, the new England game, the first one. And the game was tailor made for him to win. <laughs> Okay, tailor made for him to win. 
What does he do? Hold on to the ball for three seconds, scrambling all over, back and forth from left to right. I mean, he's not going to make it, man. Zach is good at throwing the opposing team the ball. Though. Very <laughs> accurate at that. This is terrible. But this no, is the he, thing, too. My argument was that with him holding the ball for the rock for like 2.5 to 3 seconds, it causes wear and tear to our linemen. Yeah. So then that's when you've seen in week four, well, week five, week six, week seven, our linemen were being depleted little by little because he was just holding on to the rock too long. So yeah, you know, and they don't they don't know where to block for him either because they don't know where he is back there. Yeah, and like he he was unnecessarily scrambling too, and he has like the the physical. Uh, I'm not breaking any news here. He has the physical. It's all up yeah. here. It's right. just like he looks. I, I see it on TV. Like he just has like this blank stare in his face, and it's like he doesn't even know where he is. He has no idea what's going on. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, if if I'm a drunk fan on Sunday and I could see it, I know that you know scouts are looking. I know that. Uh, uh, you know, assistant coaches are looking at it. Everybody can see it. So yeah, I yeah, yeah, I think yeah, his his definitely. trade value shot. At, you know, unfortunately, it's guys. Sad. Speaking speaking of unfortunately, I mean, uh, we've seen this time and time again now with these young quarterbacks that they draft mm -hmm. either in round one or, or round two. If you want to throw Gino in there, and having yeah. covered the team back then and been around his rookie year and those first couple of seasons, like I mean, this they have made a habit out of breaking these young quarterbacks either through not having the right pieces around them, whether it be offensive line, lack True. of weapons, turnover right. at offensive coordinator, having to start them early or put them into situations when they're not mm -hmm. ready to play. Yeah. Um, and it's just, you know, it runs its course quickly. The fan base gets frustrated, understandably so. It's like, how many times are we going to do this where we, where we go big for a quarterback and they have all these skills and upside and physical abilities and they just can't put it together. So, I mean, yeah. this is just the latest example of that, and it's well, it's, it's definitely difficult. Well, Chris, this this is it brings up a great point here, right? So you have Aaron Rodgers. Why not next week draft a quarterback in the fourth round? I yeah. mean, maybe a Joe Milton or a Rattler. Yeah, we're not expecting them to be the savior. They could at least Jeez. sit behind. Yeah, Rodgers yeah. for a year because we don't know what's going to happen next year. You know, twenty four season. What is Woody going to? Trot out there, Tyrod Taylor. There's no way you need to have like a contingency plan. And to me, if you get someone like Rattler, who I'm I'm really high on, he, just think of what Aaron Rodgers did with uh, uh, Jordan Love. I love yeah. like no one expected the Packers to reach that far. They were what a, a game away from what the Super Bowl. Love they, they made it to, yeah, they to the championship. The 49ers game. in the championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah loved yeah. it. Excellent last year. Yeah, I mean, obviously. He was drafted much higher than what we're talking yes. about here, but I get your point, and yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. A day three pick, um, someone to kind of put in the pipeline, for lack of a better phrase. You expose him to Rodgers. Rodgers doesn't feel threatened by him because mm -hmm. it's not a premium pick, and they're, in theory, hypothetically going to address um, perhaps adding another weapon or two for him uh, in the prior rounds. So from yeah. that standpoint, it makes plenty of sense. And I know they've tried that approach a couple of times in the past. Like Bryce Petty comes to mind um, again from just my time oh. around the team yep. and that, you know, it didn't mm -hmm. pan out, mm -hmm. but you know, he at least was a guy they carried on the roster and was some depth. He gave him a few starts. It, it never really went anywhere, but that's kind of, the approach you're looking to take with that guy that you that you're you know not investing a premium pick in and maybe you don't feel as tied to as far as well we've got to play and we've got to put him in there because look at the draft pick that we used on him and look at the contract that it comes with so on and so forth so um yeah i mean yeah. right now they don't really have that young project guy in the in the pipeline so i think that makes i think that makes plenty of sense. i saw that comment pop up there o-line mid-round you could do that as well if, you, yeah. if you're not going to do that early on that's certainly you can always use that depth and because of the veteran nature and the injury history of some of the guys that they have projected to start along the offensive line absolutely that makes a ton of sense Kellen clemens was a pretty decent pick that's a good point but mm. that's going back a ways now it's been a minute yeah. uh but One yeah time. that was a good pick that was a good I just, pick. Trust that okay I, I really just don't trust joe douglas with backup quarterbacks i mean james morgan uh nice. you, know, you know i got his jersey James Morgan, you really? There you no. go. Oh, okay, I got a bottle okay, of Captain Morgan. Yeah, I, I was gonna say you're better off making that a Captain Morgan jersey. Sure. Band the man. Oh, While man. we're on the Jets topics, uh, with the draft, 
Um, what do you think the Jets are doing at 10? Are, are you somebody that, you know, going Bowers or you, you think that they take offensive line, wide receiver? What do you think in the Jets do at 10? I'm a Bowers guy. Trade back? Okay. First, I'm a ba- I'm in the Bowers camp myself because I, I do think that they could use – I mean, look, the, the Mike Williams edition is great, but – I mean, we have to acknowledge the fact that he has an injury history and he's coming off yep. a torn ACL. So fine, different position. But the idea of adding another young, dynamic pass catcher. And for me, I mean, just look around the league, how many teams have productive tight ends. I mean, that has been a black hole position for the Jets for the better part of, mm-hmm. what is it now? it got to be 15 years. I know they've had a couple instances where they've gotten maybe a half a season or a season of production, but going all the way back to Dustin Keller. So it's funny, you bring up Kellen Clemens. It's like the same era of Jets football, yep. and it's yeah. been a while now. So I think what's good is – the Mike Williams addition and the additions they made on the offensive line at least gives Joe Douglas some options or you don't feel like he's tipping his hand in that spot. So right. he can kind of sit there and let it fall to him the way, and, hey, one of the wide receivers drops, you could pounce on that. If they like Bowers, you could pounce on that. If one of the tackles should fall, they could pounce on that. Trade back always can't be ruled out. Uh, with Joe Douglas have to take that into account, especially if they feel like they have a good – a good grade and good value on somebody that they feel they can get their hands on maybe a little bit later on in round one. I don't know how far they'd be willing to trade back, but I can't rule out any of those possibilities, but if it were up to me and I was making the pick in that slot, I would be looking to give Aaron Rodgers as much help as possible. Weapons wise. I agree. You need to protect him of course. Um, but they have made some investments in line with trying to do that so far this off season guarantees you nothing. And some of the injuries they've dealt with along the offensive line, I feel like in certain instances have been freak things and stuff that's just unfortunate bad luck. I mean, you hope that that's going to – that string of bad luck or instances of having a slew of offensive line injuries is going to end at some point. be nice to get a young guy in the mix as well for some depth. I mean, I know they just – they picked up Tipman last year, but you know, more so at the tackle spot. Maybe they address that a little bit later on down the road in the draft. But to I me, yeah. I want to I wanna get – I want to get some some real productivity in the passing game uh, into this offense, and I think Bowers is the kind of guy that could do that. I love yeah, it. and that's like the biggest argument I think, like amongst like Jet fans, it's do you want the day one, uh, you know, playmaker that could be effective day one, yeah, in a going all in year, or do you want the offensive lineman that's almost guaranteed to play? Considering the injury history, I mean, you know, with Morgan Moses is coming, you know, he's getting older. I think he's coming off of a pec surgery. Uh, you have uh, Tyron Smith that hasn't like played a, uh, a yeah, full season since record, what, 2015, right. I believe it was. You have Elijah Vera Tucker coming off of two season ending knee injuries. So, you know, I'm willing to bet my house that, you know, sad offensive linemen would be playing. So that, that that's the big, you know, gripe. That's the big argument that's going mm-hmm. on. So. Here's it's, my here's my only counter to that, and not not at okay. you specific, not at you specifically, but like, I, you know, following the league and working on NFL Sundays. So, um, I work on Sirius XM Sunday Drive Show, right? So, big part of what we do in the preview hour is running down injury reports for all the teams, and there are countless weeks where I'll be like, hey, this team's missing three fifths of their starting offensive line, you know, and that yeah. team still figures out a way to not only protect the quarterback, but run the football. So to me, sometimes you got to look at scheme. You got to look at coaching. You got to look at game plans. I mean, offensive line injuries happen mm-hmm. throughout the NFL. Now I get in the jets case, you know, Rogers is not as mobile as he once was. So you're talking about maybe more of a liability, especially now coming off the Achilles injury. But I mean, They've had guys go down, but I feel like the guys that have stepped in, I mean, you got to coach those guys up better a little bit. You got to have sort of the the depth guys or the young unproven guys or those day three picks that we talked about, be able to step in and give you some serviceable starts here and there or in a pinch, a full season. Hey, guy goes down week one or two and you're talking about filling 15, 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a different story, but you know, week here, two weeks here. I mean, they, they've got to be able to overcome some of those things. This is the NFL. Guys are going to get hurt. They're going to go down. They're going to miss time. It's not an excuse to not be able to protect your quarterback at all. Oh, that's interesting. And and that's the thing too. It's like, do you trust? Uh, do you trust Carter to you know, Coach Carter to, to coach these guys up? And yeah. as of right now, we haven't really seen it. I mean, no. uh, Tipman has been a very good find for us. Uh, also versatile. And I, th- I think the New York Jets do like that, you know, a player that can play multiple positions on the offensive line. I call Elijah Vera Tucker 
the Joe Cueco of the offensive line all the time because that's really what he is. He hasn't played center, but he could if he had to, I'm sure. And I'm sure he'd be pretty damn good at it as well. So, yeah, I agree. My, my question to Chris is, we, we well, I'm pretty sure we could all agree that Uncle Hackett, uh, he doesn't know <laughs> how to use players or anything like that. My question to you, Chris, is like with Ruckert, can we – is there any way you think we could utilize them and like try to develop them to become a Bowers slash Conklin? Or what are your thoughts on that? Um, I would say my guess on his upside would probably be more in the, the Conklin category than the Bowers guy. Like, I mean, I, I like Conklin a lot. Like I think of the, those, those two, if we're talking about um, Ruckert and we're talking about Conklin as more of the, maybe the traditional well-rounded prototypical tight end to me. And again, I'm not going to claim that I sat and watched every Georgia game or every piece of tape or every play that, that Brock Bowers was involved in. Gotcha. Um, but from everything I can gather, he seems to be more of a you know, dynamic game breaking type option at tight end. So I, I can't speak much to, you know, how, how well is he going to do as a blocker? Can you put him on along the line of scrimmage as, as often or, or not along, but in a tight set or does he have to be, you know, split out in the slot? Does he have to be in motion? You know, that I can't speak to, but I like the idea of having multiple tight end sets where it gives you again, a little bit more versatility and you're not tipping your hand as much. So if you get yeah. two guys, maybe even three at times on the field at the same time, and you have the ability to run out of that formation or, assuming Rogers health. I mean, his, his play action ability has always been one of his strengths. So uh, the more, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned at the tight end position. So oh, okay. um, I, okay. I just feel, I feel like that's, that's been a, a mm -hmm. position that's been lacking for them for so long. So even adding a guy like Bowers, I don't think necessarily means that you're taking a, a Conklin or a Ruckert out of play. I mean, I know Ruckert's more than maybe the developmental type or because of where he was drafted it's kind of buried down the depth chart a little bit more so i mean conklin's done a nice job since they've brought him in i think he's been yeah. pretty stable in what they expected um but that'll be interesting to see i guess if they pass on 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 bowers maybe it kind of hints and gives you an idea of what they feel about the two guys that they had on the roster already awesome not because the thing is like earlier this morning before i went to work i checked on um ruckert's wingspan his his hand and uh, his height. He's he's an inch above Bowers on all three categories, and um, I think measurables. You know, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the measurements and everything like that. So I would love to see Rucker. Yeah, size right wise. Well. He's, he's, yeah, he's definitely got he's, something. He's actually off bigger, there. dude. So you know. But thank you for your answer, man. I appreciate sure. it. Sure. Big time. Now, Chris, I got to thank you. I mean, just for coming on. I know, you know, you have, you're always so busy. You're, you're always on the fan and uh, just, we're all busy. Yes, yes, yes. And just taking the time here. Uh, I appreciate you so much. I, I just have one request if possible. Um, sure. Boomer is one of my favorite all time quarterbacks always. Okay. And I only have one football card with Boomer. And unfortunately it's this one. This is one that he it's been making like, the rounds this week. I keep seeing that one this week. Yeah, it's like Gary Busey playing Boomer Sison on Mad I TV. legit figured somebody just photoshopped. Gary There's Busey. no way, no way. I have this card. I have it. That's incredible. So it looks like he did a lot of drinking. No, no way. That's my guy, man. I love oh, Boomer. Man. Is there any way that you could tell him? To stop by on this show, it would mean the world to us. I always call WFAN. I'm like, hey, listen, yeah. guess what? I'm not gonna lie to you, Chris. Next week we have no. I'm sorry. In two weeks, finally, Craig Carton's coming on. Man. Is he really? Yeah, wow. he's awesome, awesome dude. Yeah, great job I, by you guys. I cannot wait to, to to get him. So, I mean, Boomer is one of my top dogs, man. You know, obviously, this is a Ken O'Brien jersey. I have his Boomer jersey upstairs. Um, so, if you, anyway, man, you throw that. You know in what's there. weird is, uh, <laughs> I actually, Greg uh, Giannotti actually lives five minutes from me. I bump into him at Seven Eleven every once in a while. There you go. Damn, your world, right? <laughs> um, I'll have him over. Well, I'll just have like a live podcast with him. <laughs> Did he have a restraining order on you? <laughs> Might be in the near future. No, I'm kidding. Um, funny enough, I'm 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 filling in on that show. Boomer's off tomorrow, Friday, by the way. So I'm my alarm's going off in four hours. I'll nice. be going in to work with uh, wow. Gio and Jerry Recco, but I'm not. That's you know, a little humble break. Um, the best man, the best. How do I? Let's see. Uh, I would say. 
nothing against you guys, but you want to talk about busy. You think I'm busy? I mean, Boomer is, Boomer is one of the busiest guys I know. Wow. Um, I, could just I don't right. know. I mean, listen, all you, you could always ask. I would say if you guys were a Rangers podcast, you might have a better chance. I can do that. Jets Let's rebrand. Podcast. Let's and rebrand. The other, here's the other thing. In short order here in the near future, unless the Rangers uh, fall on their faces and hey. get eliminated in round one. Hey, like they, no. no, no. They I'm, a, I'm, I'm <laughs> as big a Ranger fan as there is, so I'm not trying to – wish that into existence but yeah, there are no there yeah, are no I guarantees i would say signed, uh, uh, Mika jersey uh, there you go where'd you get it yeah. signed um i actually won it at a raffle left uh, oh nice week. Yeah. damn man you got wow. all the love. i got that I got <laughs> let's go rangers is right i actually i just took I my, my i got the signed helmet Oh, a bunch sweet. Of stuff. Look at we that. did uh we went to kids day at the garden last week we got to, we got to skate on the ice at msg nice. before Damn, they before they laid an man. egg against the flyers thankfully we didn't pay you got the, the skate the on there like yeah it was like a one o'clock in the afternoon it was a it was uh for it was like a cancer fundraiser you know you pay for the tickets and they gave you about an hour or so so i went with my boys that's it was, insane you know for me wow. it was like that's yeah, favorite place in the world so that was a really yeah. cool opportunity but anyway Jeez. To circle to circle back, I think it might be tough to land Boomer right now while the Rangers are in playoff mode and the Knicks as well. But oh. I'll, I'll I'll keep that in mind, and maybe if I feel like he's in a in a in a particularly good mood one day or one morning, I'll, I'll just throw that out there and see what see yeah. what comes of it. Chris, hey. you're you're the yeah. best man. Appreciate yeah. that, guys. Yeah, we're so thankful pleasure. to have you on. Yeah, so, yeah, good to chat with you. Where can everybody find you real quick before we let you go? You can find me on Twitter slash X. That's my, I'm not a big Instagram guy. I'm not a TikTok guy. I've gotten off of Facebook. So I'm mostly a Twitter guy. Obviously you can find me on the fan here and there. Uh, you can find me on S and Y at night on sports night. I usually do Sunday nights and any other random night. So I do some TV work there, but on Twitter it's at C Lopresti W F A N. I'm very active on there. Uh, Gio likes to make fun of me because I try to reply to everybody and he just thinks that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. But, you know, that's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's part of being on that show. You got to take the slings and arrows and just uh, have have fun with it. You're a stud, man. You're a stud. Dude. Appreciate you, man. You guys as well. Amazing. This was enjoyable. Appreciate it. And uh, good hanging out. And we'll uh, catch you guys soon. Enjoy the draft next week. All right. You Thanks, guys, brother. Sir. Have a great night. Good one, brother. All right, fellas. You too. You got it. All right. So, that was awesome. so what, what we're going to do right now, we're going to bring on a new guy. Um, I believe we met on Twitter. And Joey Jets, are you there? Can you see me? I, we cannot see you. You are in the darkness, my friend. You are with Senor Aaron Rodgers. He's with A-Rod. I, was, <laughs> I could see you just as well as I could see John Cena. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Liam, Liam's the man. <laughs> oh, man. But that's cool. Joey, what's going on, man? Welcome to the show, dude. Thanks for having me on. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing great, Pretty man. Good. And, good. you know, as we dialogued a little bit, um, you know, this is, you know, for fans as well, the show. Um, how'd you become a Jets fan, dude? Uh, so it's funny that there's no actual Jets fans. You know, um, I, of course, I'm making my kids root for them because that's what you do as a parent. That's what but you got to do. Yeah. It, Pictures of me as a little it's child kid. abuse, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not anything else. So, um, my dad's a Bears. My job, my brother and grandfather were Giants fans. So, yeah, I mean, just kind of saw those pictures. I'm like, all right, I guess I'm a Jets fan, and just continuing on from there. The first season I remember really watching was um, the O tight year in '96. So, started off on a really good note. Memorable. Oh, okay. Oof, amazing. Okay. That's one. Yeah. I got Kotite's signature. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Dan. <laughs> it did. It did. Joey, we're losing you, man. The, the, the sound quality isn't that great, um, but we, we we would love to have you back on here, man. I, it just you're, you're going in and out. Let me let me try calling back in. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. All right. All right. So we're gonna bring up Charles. Charles, you you, you are making the rounds, bro. Like I What's see you up, on Charles? on so many different, <laughs> you know, podcasts, and we love your views, obviously. Number one, and how you I doing tonight, my, man? Good. I finished my three hour Superman live stream today. Is Superman Day for those interested? Love Happy it. Superman Day! Happy oh, Superman yeah. Day! Cheers, Thank you, man. Um, Cheers. I accidentally banned freaking Cheers. 
Big felt like a jackass because we were debating over how good Superman is as a character, and we got a little heated. So like oh. a jackass, I banned him by accident. I meant to put him on timeout, but like a jackass, I banned him. But all is forgiven. It's all right. Yeah. Hey, we all do it, man. We all do it. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to think about doing a Jets live stream uh, oh, tomorrow after God. I do my other Superman episode tomorrow. Okay. It's a Superman week here on my channel Love from it. April. Today's the 18th, so from April 15th to the 21st will be Superman week. And then next month, some around in May, I'm going to do a Batman marathon. Whoa. Now, now I'm going to I'm going to propose something here. I got my favorite character of all time superman versus macho man i will take macho man all day all day because the superpowers that he had to land elizabeth and the struggles that she, he would put her through uh, queen elizabeth. superman got nothing on that man yeah man i agree with dan the man yeah. there bro i, I agree just a little Slim Jim. Jim. i love superman i love superman that's my dude yeah oh. <laughs> Oh. Sean Bennett said Superman is weak to magic. That is, well, you spell magic wrong. When I think of the word magic with the K, I think of Colossus's sister. Hey, no spells here, man. Hey, None man. of that witchcraft. <laughs> we're all Jets fans. So, no. Charles, we're yeah. going to make it quick. New York Jets next week, number 10. Who are they picking? I'm going to see you offensive got? lineman. Who is that? Oh, well. Who is it? Olu oh, Fashano. Fashano? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Okay. okay. I love it. All I right. love it, Charles. We will do a, do a Jets live stream tomorrow, though. Just to let you all know. And you're more What's than the welcome. Time? What time? Time. What time? Um, probably around six o'clock. Okay. In the okay. Well, oh, six p.m. Six p.m. Yeah. Not in the morning. I'll be up awake. I'll be having breakfast. Okay. Breakfast with Charles. I like it. Breakfast with Charles. Oh, all right. There we go. You might be honest with you guys. Stay tuned. Okay. Hey, so what's yeah, the name yeah. of your channel, real quick? So everybody. It's Charles the, uh, Gorman. Just My name Charles on Gorman? the screen. With the Kingdom Come Superman picture on it, I'm sure it does. Perfect. Oh Charles. yeah, because it has it has the the man on it too, right? It has a uh, like a, uh, I think it's the blue logo. It's Dan. The Kingdom Come Superman it's suit. It's me. I got you. Dan. I got you. It's me on my hands, like standing yeah. up. <laughs> Can't get Have, it. A day, Have a great one, Charles. Love you, bro. Care, Charles. Brother. Later, Thank you, brother. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to. All right, we're gonna go with the duo now. Um, we're going to just preface this. It gets off the rails here. So yeah. Eric, get ready, brother, because right. we have this guy who is sick. Holy, He moly. is out of this world, dude. <laughs> he, if know. he had to be a superhero, his name would be Electro. <laughs> like he has everything to deal with. Like dude, Liam, if you're inspecting that house, right? With all the electrical work, would you pass it? No. No, not at all. <laughs> judging by the judging by the dresser, no, I can't. I can't. I'm no, sorry, Armin. That's I, I, blocking I'm, all the wild wires. I'm not, try, I'm not trying to Elmo you here, but you know. <laughs> no, it's just because oh, I'm wait, cheering wait. for the Capitals. You know, screw the Rangers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> guys. So listen, we're gonna bring on Joey Jets back here. It's gonna be a full house right now. It's gonna be like oh, the Brady Bunch. So we're gonna like turn each oh, other awesome. like this. There you go. Hey, what's up, Joey? What's going on down there? Everything good? I had I had to download the app. Hi, I Afro. The app. Hey, sure, right. guys. What's up, boys? How we hey, doing? Joey. Hi, Afro. Hello, Armin. It's like the Brady Bunch over here. Yeah, I'm telling man. you. I'm telling you. But you have to look at the opposite side because, like, I want to like look this way, and I'm. This so is what who's I use. Couple, I, Afro. Is it you and Liam as the couple? And where the children? <laughs> I love, yes pretty much pretty so you're, Joey, you're yes. the maid you're the maid we gotta ask you some questions here hit me all right next week at 10 who do we go i am honestly i'm in the huge camp of the weapon i would love to see ba brock bowers or romo doom play at 10 um if you can't hit one of those if the option is down to trade down get down a few picks grab a second round pick and you just hit both in the in one and two, but if you're gonna stick at ten, I'm I'm Bowers or Odunze. I'm happy with either one of those. Give Aaron Rod target. No Am I offensive, no offensive line? I see the Jets jumping back into the first man. I, honestly, after ten, I like Joe Douglas. What does he have to lose? What does he have to lose? Uh, I mean, he no, did. no, no, no. Either way, he could lose his job. Either way. 
Like if he's, if Don't this fall. season does not go well, like think about it. What if you leave this draft with Fashanu and Brock Bowers? That's oh, it. That. That's not going to happen. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why? Why is this not you're happening? You're going to need another general. Hold on you're going to need another Time organization. Out. Time out. To be Time. on drugs. To yeah. To okay. Finish. All right. <laughs> For the Jets uh, to get back into the first round. Last week, last week in the mock draft, you guys mocked me for saying, oh, you know, the Raiders, why would they move up and get uh, Penix if you could find him in the second? Now no, you have. No, they get him at 13. Three, no, they won't get, get him at 13. They gave up next year's first to move up like three spots. Hold on. But that's my Damn, whole point. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, but it's not crazy because <laughs> if you have behind the Jets, you have the Broncos, the Raiders, and the Vikings, three desperate teams, they'll be yeah. willing to do anything. And now all of a sudden you got the guy from NFL Network. What's uh, Schrager? Schrager also pinned Penix to the Raiders. And then you had Connor Rogers, who we we're going to have probably in two months. Same thing, Penix to the Vikings. So where there's smoke, there's fire. And when that sh that shit happens, when that happens, I expect an apology from all three. That one, that one, <laughs> Mr. Brady Senior, Liam, and then Afram there, uh, Greg, and then over there, Armin. Uh, what's the uh, Bobby? All right, uh, you guys are gonna say I will I'm sorry. phone call Dan for uh, your apology. You I will personally apologize to you. Now, just <laughs> what happens if it doesn't happen? I say will it. not apologize Bye. to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a mean That's person. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> That's all right. There's a better chance for the Jets to trade into the second round than there is to, for them mm. to trade back into the first. Which I'm good like, with. See, like the realistic team I can yeah. see is uh, like, it'd, be, it'd be like 72. 111 and maybe like a 2025 uh, 2025 third. Hmm. I can see that. The, the realistic team I round. see is is honestly I the uh the Broncos. They only have Jared Stidham right now. Yeah. Exactly. How is Peyton going to go into this season with 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 uh with Stidham? Uh, what how whatever however you pronounce that name. Like it, it sounds like like you're trying to pronounce STDs. You like that offload Zach. <laughs> Give him Zach. That's or uh, oh, I, mean, no. I, I guess you got Minnesota with Frankenstein looking Sam Darnold. So that's what I'm saying. So uh, you Jared, guys get it? Jared Hall. They have two quarterbacks on their roster, but they are looking for their franchise. Which is Michael Penix. Could be. Which is could be. It could be it could be Zach Wilson. <laughs> yeah. it's, gonna, it's gonna be interesting. How I, you know what? We should put the Vikings. All right. Zach Wilson. So Justin Jefferson could feel the pain of Garrett Wilson and <laughs> get the hell out of there. No, I think Zach Wilson should either go to the uh, the Broncos or the Colts to kind of, you know, yeah, that'd be great. Manning for sticking it to us, you know, giving us Adam Gase. So, you know, that, that's what I would go. do. Return, that, re return the Broncos' the favor. He's not going to be playing. They got Anthony Richardson. He's coming off the injury. Uh, like, and that's Minshew. a bit. Minshew's gone. Oh, oh, that's yeah. the Raiders, right? Yeah. 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 They took they took him. Yeah, if the Raiders have Minshew and, and the kid O'Connell. Donald. So like yeah, they're not O'Connell. desperate for a quarterback in the first round. They might want another uh I don't know. They might they, take they, a receiver. Yeah, to to to, to uh, pair with Devontae. That's yeah, what I was thinking too. What are you guys? So we gotta talk about this crap. Yeah. Uh oh. All right, this is it. All right, so all right, on a scale of one to ten, uh, where am I? I'm up there. Good, I'm I'm blocked. So this logo sucks. I'm sorry. Um, it's <laughs> not fun. I, I I from one to ten, guys. What do you think? Uh, we're gonna go Liam. One to ten. That one's not my least favorite. I'll I'll give that a like I'll give that a seven. Like I, I don't hate it. Like it's it's fine. <laughs> The one you know, the one that does bother me. I don't. I don't. Do you we're, have the picture? We're we're gonna go to that one because I'm I'm in the same boat. That so, one would look better if it was in the that that oval shaped football. Like if it, if you no. put it like yeah, if if the oval should have went anywhere, it should have been in that one. No now, more the, oval. No more oval. I mean, no more um, oval. I, I, I'm Thank I'm you. done with Come Monica. On, there's always room for oval team. No, I, I'm no. I'm done with the oval <laughs> office with Monica and Bill. Like I'm done with that. I'm not. I'm, I'm right sure. Now. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Eric, what yeah. would you give it? What would you yeah. give? Yeah. Well, when I woke up this morning and I looked at it, um, I wanted to throw up because I was sober. You know, just looking <laughs> at it, 
Um, but looking at it now, uh, after having two younglings, three younglings, I'll give it. A, I'll, I'll give it a three. It's two. No, no, not even, like not even, not, not, not even a two, a two. I'll give it a two. Joey, I'm uh, about a four or five. I mean, yeah. I'm more partial to this one than I am just the solid wing itself. I think we all we can all pretty much agree on that one at this point. That, yeah, that, I don't I'm, know, not, I'm at a four point two with this one. Right, Afrom, give it a zero because it's lost. Everything, Thank I, you, Afrom is the man. Is too close, everything is too bold. <laughs> you can't see anything. You got to make out the, every, all the edges. Ugh. I don't hate that one. It sucks. That's more clear. This yeah. I, I actually like this. It's a football. It's a coffee bean. Like they cannot get rid of the coffee bean. Yeah, why? why that should be on the white. This one should be on the white helmet. This one. No, should be on the white. no. Oh, so no. it's like the Niners. It's like the Niners. No. It's like the Niners. Yeah, you know. So it's like if we want to talk about like bad logos, like yeah, like that's pretty bad for the Jets. Ah, uh, the worst. Like it keeps getting this worse. is horrible. It's horrible. You know hey. what the worst logo in the NFL is? It's got to be the Browns. It's just a football helmet. So it's it, like I have a logo. Not, not only that, I don't like this one. This is my second worst. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't bother me. Wait, the Browns were named after what? Paul Paul Brown? More like Paul Paul Orange. So this oh, one, I don't... <laughs> I don't like this this one because that's in the end zone, and Afrim can totally agree with me on this one. Remember in the eighties, you had the little wing on that at the top. It's like they went cheap on this at the end zone. Mm. Bring back the it's wing at the fun. end zones. I'm not a fan of this one. Maybe, yeah, maybe this either. season it will just be the wing in the end zone. I don't I'll like that. Yeah, I one. give that like a negative ten. I, I, I yeah. will. That That's would from... be a good car <laughs> emblem. Yeah, yeah, right, Mister Afram. Doesn't that look like a golf logo or something like that? Like a. It just yeah, looks probably. weird. It's awkward. I, I, I can't stomach it. It does I look like a logo Emerald for like a business. I think yep. they try to target women and children with these secondary logos. They, yeah, they weren't not a, for us, not for the diehards. Yeah, this one to me reminds me like a postpartum labio gone wrong. Like it, <laughs> it's not my type of thing. Joey yeah. Jet, what do you think, man? Hate, hate, hate it. Hate it. It's the worst. I mean, yeah, I can't it's terrible. Think. Like ugh. Sean Bennett's actually been rating him as well in the chat. So he gives that one a zero. Zero. Zero it is. <laughs> oh, it's a zero. cat. I, I didn't realize his picture was a cat in a helmet. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. We got a special guest here. All right. We got a special. Yes. We got we got to bring him on. Guys, oh, yes. get, get ready to be just thrown into the ringer here. Just just get ready. All right. Three, two, one. Lift Bobby off. Bobby. Hey, hi, guys. How you doing? Hey, Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Um, make a draft for Knobel from college. We heard you. We, we, we heard you on Knoble. WFAN. We yeah, heard you. Yeah. Was that WFAN? hilarious? Well, I couldn't. I couldn't believe I was a cracking <laughs> up. I mean, I like the guy I called in yesterday, but Jake asked me asked somebody to call in about him. You know, <laughs> this so is awesome. I decided to call up Knobel. This is awesome. And, uh, uh, we should have had him and Chris on together and be like, all right, you know, Chris, call in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and the other guy called in too uh, yesterday too to the late night show. Um, got the other guy in. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. With the guy that. McPherson, McPherson, oh. McPherson. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, called but... McPherson. The other guy called the other guy late night. Um, and you're best. Midnight Bobby, right? Or Bobby Midnight? Yeah, Bobby Midnight. Yeah, that's Bobby Jake Midnight. You guys know Jake Gasman? Yeah. Yes. Sir. yes. I've been Metal following yeah. him for a long yeah. time. Yeah, well, you got the, the name sounds, the name sounds well, familiar. Uh, <laughs> so the thing is, I'm trying to make amends with the guy. I'm trying my best. Well, you know, I'm, I'm on the him. I'm on the shit list. I'm on the really bad list. I'm trying. <laughs> like, I'm trying. I'm like, I was just an innocent bystander there. Yeah. Just, and then I'm I call into his show and he's like, Shadow Band, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, what did uh, I do? Oh. What the heck did I do? Yeah, you have a, oh, yeah. a king size bed but, in the shadow realm. You know who doesn't <laughs> like me on the WFAN? Man. You know Ooh. Al Dukes? You know Al Dukes? Yeah, we try to like get him me. on the show. He don't like me at all. When they used to call Chris, uh, Chris can't, not Chris, 
Craig? You know Carlton, Chris Carlton. Craig, in the Craig morning. Carlton. Carlton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Craig Carlton, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Craig Carlton, yeah. I called him up, and then uh, with him and Boomer was great. But then, um, what's his name, banned me for in the mornings. So Why are you making all these WFN guys mad? What, what are you doing? Oh, no, I, I just him, just the bald headed guy. Just Which Al one? Dukes. Just Carton? Oh, yeah, Dookie Dukes. Dukes. No, no, Chris Carton likes Craig Carton likes me all the well, time. Well, you're gonna like you're gonna like the episode in two weeks, though. We're gonna have him live here. Who Craig yeah, Carton? Buddy. Yeah, that you're gonna... are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm call not. In, call in. We'll, we'll put you on. No, the No, come on. You. What time is this at? <laughs> we're so so we're debating. We're debating whether to do a recording or to no, have it live. No, we'll have him on live. Yeah. I want to talk okay. to him on live. Okay. The Please, I'll said... be here. <laughs> All right. I got to correct him. Wow. It's up to Craig. All right. You know what, Bobby? All right. I'll cut you a deal. I will cut you a deal. If yeah. you can, like, mend the bridges with me and Asmin, I will bring oh, you yeah. on. All right? Oh, you, tell you, you tell him. You tell him. What did you do to uh, Jake Asmin? No, I didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. by association. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Birds of a feather. Flock together. I know. I like all the Jet fans. I love my ex partner. I love him dearly. But like, um, as Ben like, Turby wants to apologize. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can say Who's that. Who's Queens originally? Who lives in Queens? Me. You're in Queens, what, Bobby? What, yeah, I used to live in uh, Glen Oaks. I'm in Oz I was in Ozone Park. He's your next Oh, that's neighbor. close by. Who else lived in Queens? Anybody else? Nope. Damn, Bobby's man. in Vermont, guy, right? Bobby, yeah, you're from Vermont, right? I was originally born in the Bronx, then uh, moved to Queens, then moved to smelly New Hampshire. No, New Hampshire, that's it. New Vermont. Hampshire. There you go. Hey, what's the guy on the top guy? He looks like a football player. Oh, the, the top right? He's a Eric? beast. Yeah, the Dude. top right. Yesterday, oh, he, yeah. he was on a Every show, year. Sleeveless. Yo, his know, guns were freaking out. Play, did he ever play football? Did he ever play football? Uh, Yes, sir. Yeah. Back in the day, the pros too. Yeah, for for college. Oh, what college? College. college. Yeah. Oh, college. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, yeah I know. Ah, <laughs> we got you. We got I you good know. on that one. I know. I couldn't believe it's I Kenobo's didn't teammate. crack up. Jake Gasman could not believe I did not crack up on I'm that. Kenobo's call. teammate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good for Asman, man. Thirty-seven. My brother 37 is a yeah. Jets fan. Congrats, I do Jake. care for Congrats. the Jets. But guess what, guys? I'm a giant. No, that's all right. As long as you're not a Pats fan. Or no, I, or a Zach Wilson fan. Oh, I hate the Dolphins. I hate the Patriots. Oh, do right. I? I don't like. It, I never like Dolphins. I'm more of a Wales guy. I live in. Oh South. no, I never. I used I like to like Wales. squish the fish. Squish the fish. Squish the fish. <laughs> yeah, Dan Marino. You know. Blech. You know, so know what, what Bobby? I didn't Bobby, really like you on your team, the guy. Bobby. He used to play for the Dolphins and the Jets. Uh, oh, Pennington? No, he played defense. Noble? Taylor? No, Jason defense. No. Oh. No, defense. he said it. The guy on the bottom. Oh, uh, Jason Taylor. Taylor? Yeah, I didn't like him at all. I liked him when he was on the Jets. I remember that overtime game? Remember when the Jets came back Wait. and won that game? Yeah, that one was a great one. Hold on a second. Yeah, uh, yeah Monday night. Said, yeah, it was a Monday night football game. We were losing what uh, what ninety to three, and we came back. Oh, we, we won ninety four yeah, to ninety three. Yeah, we were getting our butt swept. Yeah. yeah. Now we, you know what, Bobby? Since we got you here, let's do a mock yeah. draft. Come on, it's a week away. Why not? <laughs> Hold on. All right. All right. Before before before, right. Before, no before, trades. Before we get into this, Bobby, do you think it's possible that you could talk to Asmin for uh, for Dan? Yes, I can. Can, can you call in tomorrow and you know? Oh, I'm gonna call in every Friday too because I get to do a trivia question every Friday on the show. <laughs> so, all right, what, what are you gonna say? Question. Just so we know, like, what are you gonna say? Well, I'm gonna say New York Dan is a good guy, and why are you upset at him? <laughs> He's gonna pull the video. But you, and you could have oh, said, but I didn't say anything. I didn't. I just had my Bruce Lee shirt on. That's all I had. Okay, that was you as were far... on today's show? Huh? No, this is a few months you ago. You were on this today's was show? Year. No, this was like last year, man. Oh, I wouldn't know that. I wasn't around last year for him. I, just I was around. Watching. I was around. All right, well, I'll look it up yeah. in the old uh, 
last year what around what month? Uh, I don't know. I, one of those months. So like, was it during training camp? Was it during training camp? We like we didn't... around in the season like November, December. Okay, November. November? December. All right, I'll look that up for you, and then I'll see what I'm going right. to say. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll call him. I'll call him. Dan Lennon. called me right afterwards. But I want to talk to Craig Carter. You better let me talk to him. I'm telling you right now. It, you got to do this. If, you got to do this. You got to do this. If you can't make this connection. Yes. If you can't make this connection, it's it's a done deal. Make now, listen, yes. let me see here. Um, all right. Back to okay. business. Okay, Back I got to address Trevor question for you guys. Wait, wait, hold on. We're going to give you the first overall pick. The Chicago Bears, who do you get? Oh, I don't we're, care. We're just doing top 10. Top 10. I okay. don't care about the Bears. I think nobody, nobody cares about them. But who, who, would you, who would you pick if you were the Bears? Well, the they Bears. want the guy from USC, Trojan, right? Yeah, Caligula Williams. We'll go. We'll go yeah, with him. All right. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. All right. All right. What's your trivia, Joe okay. Jets? You're going to be up next with the Washington Redskins. All right. The Jets are. Um, the Jets question I have for you. Okay. What team knocked that Drew Bledsoe to get to uh, Tom Brady, and which player knocked them out? This oh, is th then you're you're killing us tonight. You, you really just want us I to give up on life. Mo, no. Mo, Mo, Mo Lewis. Yes. Mo Lewis. What team did it? Yeah, the trash team we root for. <laughs> the, Jets. the Jets. Yeah, man. Well, Sunday night football. That was Sunday night. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember what day oh. it was. I just remember. no. That was one o'clock, dude. That was one p.m. Yeah, it wasn't at night. I don't know. It, was it wasn't at night. It was yeah. one o'clock, and it was late yeah. towards. Yeah. And Brady almost won that freaking game, dude. Maybe, he maybe, beat maybe it was nighttime where Armin was. From the start. Yeah. All right. right. So who's Washington going for? Washington. How, how, how maybe you Daniels this? guy. Maybe Daniels. Oh. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking. Uh, Daniels. I'm thinking Jaden Daniels uh, to Washington feels like a solid pick there. Yeah, I think right. so too. We got it. Oh wow! Okay, and cool. And the Patriots are gonna go probably for wait, another. Wait, 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 hold on, Bobby. Wait, hold on, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the Bobby mock. Oh, We're gonna go. Oh, we oh, after, after. oh I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. It's okay. Now, don't worry. It, 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 this is my no, first time on the show. I'm sorry, guys. No, don't sorry. worry. Nobody watches the show anyway. So listen, oh, uh, so we're going to go with Afrim. We're going to go with Afrim. Big well, day. we thank you. We thank you for the uh, – if, if you guys are watching this right now and you guys are getting a kick out of it, please just click the su subscribe button. It means the world to us. It means right. more than you'll ever know. It, it, helps, uh, <laughs> yeah. it helps get Jake Asman on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, this I'm is it. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. I'm All right, good. so uh, – Drake May, wow, three quarterbacks all back to back. All right, so now we got. How do you work this thing? You have to click on this. Okay, there we go. All right, the Arizona Cardinals, Phoenix Cardinals. Uh, we're gonna go with Harrison, Liam. Okay. Damn man, I all think right, Joey's right. Guys. Wow, what kind of GM would you be? Just call <laughs> the other team and say, just pick this guy. Mr. <laughs> Afram is right. I, I yeah. think. I think he's Marvin. Right, I th yeah. Really. I don't think they're going to go with Marvin. All right. Yeah, I don't I think either. So. I think they're going to go neighbors. Really? Yes. That's what I, I thought. I, neighbors yep. has neighbors the past few weeks has he's Psh. been getting up there. Okay. Well, well, maybe maybe in a different draft that's the, the situation. But right oh. now it's it's Marvin. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're going to go around. So where are you, Liam? You're yes. up. The Chargers. Your favorite team that has no fans. <laughs> I'm going back up again. Yeah. What do you got? All right. Well, I, I hate to do it. I chose I, you already. You you you, you yeah, chose you the team. Chose Arizona. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, I'm double. Look, double look. All right. I have crutches here. Okay. I'm on meds. All right. I have a surgery going on in two weeks. So just just yeah, please yeah, bear yeah, with them. Bear with them. All right. I can't walk. All right. What kind of surgery are you having? Uh, left knee. Brain. Penis oh, reduction. I hope you, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you feel better. 
Thanks. I really like you. my tail between my legs as no, a brand new meeting. Great corner on your radio station if you're going out for surgery. No, he's not coming over my house. I, we're just well, doing that, this. That'd be something. That would be awesome. <laughs> well, you, you no, no, he's coming on. He, yeah, I'm telling you, he's coming on. He's coming yeah, on. But again, you can't come on the show if you don't make a men make a Oh yes, I will. I will. <laughs> don't you forget, Bobby. We love you, Bobby. Stand sixteen. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let me see. Chargers? Armand. Armand has to go. Armand, did you go already? No, I did not. No, nah, Armand. Yeah. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> the Chargers are going to select Malik Neighbors. Wow. Okay. Six. They this lost is. Keenan they lost Keenan Allen. They lost Mike Williams. They have oh, Quentin Johnson. Now, I wouldn't be surprised Christ. if they take Brock Bowers. You know, Harbaugh did have Vernon Davis in San Francisco. Ooh, he might want to have. Go ahead. I like, I like take him. Take, take him. Take him. I like, take I like him. where this is going. Here comes my smelly team. So now I go. I, let's let let's let, yeah let Bobby get the Giants. Bobby, go oh, ahead. Oh, he's Bobby. a Giant fan. He's a Giant. Yeah, fan. yeah, yeah. yeah so Bobby, you're next, Eric. He got stink. All right. Say it. Say it. Say say they who. Stink. You know you who know they're gonna get. They stink? You know why they stink? You know why I'm so pedoed? Why because they play by the swamp. Yeah, no, that's the reason why they got rid of wah, the best wah, running back. Wah. They got rid of the best running back, and guess what team he went to? Smelly Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. Okay. I am not happy. Phili with the Curtis Phil Martin Eagles. Like Eagles. 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 Curtis Martin. No, you, you don't go what? in the same division. They said he said oh. the best. He said the best running back. I said Curtis Martin never went to the Eagles. Mm. No, oh, hey. my John. There you go, Liam. I see what you did here. That was smart. That was All really right. good. But me, if he falls to the New York Giants, they better pick him up. Joe. Who? Whoa. But wait, oh, no, you guys have a You guys have mad tackles. Yeah, I don't they care. Spend the I'm right tackles. They're not. Okay. Listen. Line stinks. Put him at center. F it. Put, him. Put him at running back at this point. <laughs> no, I want Just him on. on. I want an offense lineman so we can um, keep smelly Daniel Jones on his feet. Daniel Jones? Oh, he's still on the team? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, do you, you know what do you guys owe him? $160 million. $1.2 billion, something like that. No, $1.6 billion. Shit! So you're taking oh, alts no there. I, are you sure you're not getting JJ McCarthy here because you guys need a quarterback? Well, that's who they want. I don't want him. I want Joe Alt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going I once, really going twice. Joe. I want Joe Alt. All right, Joe Alt. It is. Wow. I'm here for off the rails mock drafts. Oh Come my here for off god! The rails, not realism. <laughs> wow. Once again, well, I don't want smelly JJ McCarthy. Uh, Why? I don't want him. I, I'm gonna I, get I him. him. I'm gonna lose I don't him. Want him. He's want gonna him. be a squishy. He's gonna be a sleeping buddy. This is the Bobby. This is it that, is the Bobby after, show. Damn right. Damn right. That's after Bobby Werner's show. featuring take Bobby. Him. You take him. Bobby All right. So now <laughs> you take him. <laughs> He's like, you want freaking JJ? Good. Good. J. J. All right. Uh, yeah, so yeah. who has? Oh yeah, it's me. Right. So it's the. Um, Wait, no, I think it's Eric. the Titans. It's Eric. Yeah. it's Eric. Eric, I'm sorry, Eric. You're right. You're right. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people mad at me. A lot. Brock Bowers. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I brought, that up. I I brought them up as a surprise candidate for Brock. Shit. They don't have a. They don't you have are a the man. This is going to be. A, this is going to be a problem. This is. Yeah. This is. Can you imagine? Not, not for nothing. This is very, very possible, fellas. Yes, Armand, very possible. Man, brother. <laughs> Joey's turn, right? Yep. Wow. Joey, Can what you, you got, man? You got you got Atlanta with eight with uh, cousins at quarterback. Who you got? Uh I gotta think Atlanta is gonna go defense. They'll take the top defensive guy on the board. They're gonna go Dallas Turner. I mean, you got quarterback. Mm, yeah. There you uh, go. They're gonna go defense. Especially oh, I agree with that call. Oh, uh, this so this is this is a nightmare. Well, not not really a nightmare yeah. right now because it puts the Jets in a position where, all right, you know what? 
they could have gotten a wide receiver. They could have gotten an offensive tackle. But at this point, whoever the Bears – well, it depends. The Bears who – who the Bears go with? It's my turn, right? Yep. Yes. Yes, sir. The, the Bears don't have any wide receivers. They just yes, got – They got DJ what? Moore and Keenan Allen. And DJ Moore. Allen, yeah. Yeah, they got Allen. Oh. I don't think that they would pass up Odunze, right? Well, they, they could – they, there's been rumors of them trading out of nine. With the Maybe Jets. Going, <laughs> Maybe going deep. They could go defense with right. uh, one of the other edge guys available. I see a trade coming. You said no trades. Oh. No change. You said no change. Okay. All right. All right. Somewhere along, Joe is freaking out. You guys are too literal. <laughs> oh, my book, God. Because you're going to really trade literal? next year's draft. Really, well, 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 really literal? When, when, when Bobby months, took Joe all to five, that really made it literal. <laughs> well, I just don't I'm, want any quarterback from my team. Right. Uh, I'm well, with Bobby on this. I'm, I mean, no. all right. So I'm going to go. The Bears. I'm going to make this the absolute worst case scenario for the Jets. They, uh, the, the Bears. Someone trades up. I'm not going to do it, but someone trades up and gets Roma Dunze. There now the go. Jets are. Now the Jets are. Okay. You know who the they should take? Who? The Jets? Yeah, no both from the college. Yeah, five, <laughs> five, seven, one ninety-eight. Bobby, 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 Bobby. If that, that happens, I'm jumping out the window head first. I know, right? It's like the Jets Super Bowl confirmed. You know, guys is... named Gator. You know, Gator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love Gator. Yeah, he yeah. he did that Chernobyl guy. You know, yeah, that was crazy. He set it up. Isn't that place radioactive? Where? Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Oh, that's Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Oh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Yeah. Hey, Dan. Like I thought that was. I thought that. I thought that was East Rutherford, New Jersey. <laughs> oh, well, it could be there too. Well, I like that. I like that. Like that. It's a swamp. Uh, all right. Let's yeah. see. Let's see what we got here. What we, do got... we got guys. What do we got? All right. We... Uh, Wait a minute, man. Hold on a second. JJ McCarthy just dropped to ten. There's gotta be a freaking trade, man. Yes. There's gotta be a trade. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Fine. If this actually happened, this is the best scenario for the Jets. Okay. All right. So who has so let's, vote on, pick? let's vote on what team is trading up to 10. And it's going to be a haul, man. I it's, think it's Denver. Uh, but they don't have a second Denver? rounder, right? No. No, the Jets they, don't. they don't no. have a second rounder. They do the have a wide have receiver. A, the Colts have a second Portland rounder. Portland Sutton picked 12 and 71. No, 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 no. Afrin just blew the lid off of this thing. That's the Dude. trade Afrin wants. What I just Adams. said. No, he no. said what Adams, right? No, no he said that Denver, one. Cortland oh Sutton. My God. <laughs> yeah. I no, no. Shit. If we're trading with Denver, Vontae I is a Raider and he's staying as a Raider. Oh, Dan. my God. Just I think I'm supposed to swallow these pills, not snort them. This is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we could, I can yeah, help you shovel up, you, you, you know, with the yeah, sun no, doesn't shine. Or is it a yeah, suppository? No, oh, <laughs> that's nasty. Well, you know what? You got to get by somehow. I'm yeah. just saying that. <laughs> I'm lonely if, these nights. If we make a trade with Denver, I want yeah. West off in that package. Oh, Westy. Like that. Who? Bring him home. Mike West off. He's. He's a part of the, yeah, no. the Broncos. NYJ Matt's going to have a, a coming home video for him. No, they're going to give us another first rounder, man. I mean, honestly, for a quarterback, either the Raiders, Broncos, or, or Vikings, and I'm not I'm not pulling anyone's leg here or the third leg. They, they're going to – they have to throw a second rounder this year and a first they next year. If they, well, that the Vikings mm -hmm. and Broncos don't have a second rounder. That's where the freaking Oakland Raiders come in, fellas. Mm, let's yeah. do it. Let's They're do it. Gonna get rid of what's his name. Who Devonte? No, no. Forget about Devonte. The Raiders have a second rounder this year, which they can give more to the Jets. Second rounder and a first rounder next year. You could also trade with the Broncos. Get Sutton. Include uh -huh. what's his name in the deal, so they take his salary. Wilson. We could get Sutton. Okay, you bring up a good point. Okay. All right, but don't don't you want more though? Like, it's like all right, you're giving away Zach Wilson just to, but it's it's one of those where you could just cut him, but you're looking at long term, like next year, where if Aaron Rodgers goes, 
He's and you 20. have two first rounders. You could always trade up to the top He's three. He's 28 years old. You've Who? got him for at least two to three years. Who? Zach? Sutton. No, Sutton. Sutton. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm just saying, in your scenario, you're saying to throw Zach Wilson in oh. there. Yeah, so you drop his salary to the to the Broncos. The Broncos, yeah. We pick up uh, Sutton's salary, which would be, we don't have the bonus. It's about $12 million. Mm -hmm. so now, but we get rid of five. So basically, it's seven seven million dollars. Yeah. Isn't he injured prone, Ephraim? Who? Sutton? No. No. Like, not as much but, as not as no. not as much as Williams. But, so but it, it'd be perfect for the slot. Right, but like if you go thirteen, right, and you swap with the Raiders, you could get either Brian Thomas Jr. from LSU, who's a freaking. Are we at a win now? Attitude. But they're kind of the same, hold on, right? Hold on. Are you in a win now? Yeah, a hundred percent. Do you get the proven commodity, or you get someone that you don't know for sure what's going to happen in the NFL? Mm. So I'm looking on over the cap for Courtland yeah. Sutton for for trade wise, yeah. and if he's traded as a pre June first designation, the dead money is seven million. The cap savings is nine, but if you designate it as a post June first. It's three million dead money, thirteen million cap savings. They're in a boat. They're in the same boat as the Jets are with Lazard, with a post June first designation. Oh well, they just went play, right. switch players. Hold on, let's let's play they're with. Like, oh, yeah, they're gonna take shit Lazard for Cortland Sutton. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Right. Let, let let's play with the uh, with the scenarios here. All right, Raiders. They give us thirteen. 44 in next year's first. Beautiful. Yes? Okay, but hold on. All right, wait, wait. Now we go with Afram. Afram's scenario is uh, where are you? The Broncos. Where are you, Broncos? Yeah, there they are. Oh, I fucking hate, hate them. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, they're not my hey, can I do no. picks on this? 12? 76. 76 in next year's first. That's beautiful pseudo. You can't lose. I you, remember you when the Giants beat their butts in 1986. Yes. Oh, damn. This With Phil awesome. Sims and Phil McConkey. McConkey's yes. son is in this draft. Dude, no, dude. They're not, no relationship. No. No relationship. No. I already. I don't know. I try. I play. I played that card once. It I bit me in the ass. He said no. They're not. No relationship. Do your do your trade with the Raiders and see if they accept it. Hey, hold on. One more with the Vikings. Vikings? How would you feel about the Jets getting my cocky, though? Wow. Well played. Jets turbulence is back. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. They have two first rounders. Yes, because they're trying to trade up to get one of the top four quarterbacks. Done. Holy Done crap. deal. Done. This is it. This is it. This is it. Wow. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you it's not going to happen. You're well, telling Minnesota me doesn't have a quarterback, That's right? JJ McCarthy's on the board. They got they're not going to trade, not gonna trade up one spot and give up two first. Oh, I for that. can't believe this! I don't understand <laughs> that. The freaking Bears did it. They did it. And they were in the top three. They did it. Why wouldn't you? If the Vikings think that JJ McCarthy is the next coming of freaking, if they uh, believe JJ McCarthy's the next guy, they will call up Arizona. They'll call up the Chargers and go up to four or five. Mm. They, if McCarthy is there at nine with Chicago, they'll wait till the Jets come up, and they know the Jets are not going to select them. Yeah, but the Bears are willing oh, to risk. Is that? That's me. <laughs> oh, what kind of dog you have? <laughs> no, it's, it's my hand. Deal. I'm playing with oh, they the something. Up, they could trade up with Tennessee hands. to seven. Oh, they I could... thought it was a dog. <laughs> so, it's the, it's all right, what? It, they could know. trade up with Atlanta. Listen, it's getting to be that. It's getting late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's getting I, late. I got, I got appointments. <laughs> all right, okay. I got all so, that. Just like listen, all the ladies. So we <laughs> have these three scenarios. All right, we're not <laughs> talking about this. Not going to happen. Whatever. Which one of these three scenarios would the Jets make a handshake? Two first-rounders this year. Give me Minnesota. Who else? Who else? So if, 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 if that happened, it's Minnesota by hands down, getting two first. This year? Yes. 
Is, because that would be crazy. Because, because oh JD's going to look at one of those two first to get more picks in another trade down scenario. All right. Uh, so uh, are we good with Afram? Are you cool with this? Or you would still go with Afram. Sutton? Sure. No, no, no. Do, do. That's fine. I agree with that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if it goes through. Oh, wow. What? Because he has it as all users. Oh. So because it's a, a it's he, it's not CPU with Dan just using the jets. It's an all he's using all the users. It's gonna be no, I did that last year. I, I know last year. I did that last last week. Man, that was really crazy. Great. All right. So yeah. here we go. Vikings at 10. Who do they pick? JJ McCarthy. Okay. JJ, that's their new quarterback. <laughs> they do it for the Kool-Aid. All right, here we go. <laughs> JJ. All right. Jets are on the clock. Uh, you you can't miss with this one. Who's picking? Uh, Liam? My, my, my vote is uh -oh. Olu. Armin. Who is picking? My vote's for Olu. I I think so. Um, Liam? Uh, Fuaga. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Sean is out. Yeah, like, I'm out. That said, I'm done. Sean is going crazy on the comments. <laughs> he is. Sean is the best. Yeah. <laughs> like this is getting too crazy. Please just don't unsubscribe, Sean. Please don't. Yeah. Don't don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. We'll, we'll we'll be better. Oh, I love this. I love this. All right, I have an idea. I mean, if if this is very unrealistic, Sean, call in and and you get the pick then. Sean. There Are you, you down? Can you call in? Join us. And you'll <laughs> pick the Jets pick here at 11. I think if, call. if Sean calls, he's going to do a trade. You're going to have like... You called him last year? Another trade down. You called it to Jake Asman last year? Uh, yeah. No, well, what? I did, and I got the brunt of it. Like, I yeah, got I got the good one. Was he in Houston at the time? Was it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Houston. He was, yeah. he was in Houston. He was in Houston. All right, I'll look that up and then talk to him tomorrow morning. <laughs> you talk. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll know who you're talking about. Yeah, I bet he will. He you, you know, the best way to find this is when did you have him on? Um, do I have oh. who me or you and Joe? Yeah, when did when did you guys have him? Because it wasn't what? short after that. No, no, we had him as our first guest. He was like amazing. He was like, yeah, no worries. Then, oh. then after that, because he wasn't retweeting the show, um, Joe got really mad, like really, really upset. And I'm like, oh. ah, yeah, yeah. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, you know oh, what? Yeah. If it happened in November, if it happened in November, no, no, that's when, no. We, lo that's when we lost to the Dolphins. So he was probably nope. pissed off. No, no, this is no, way before. Dan then. called in on a Sunday oh. night. Oh, that Bobby, was Bobby, Bobby, why don't you message him and see if he could come on real quick? <laughs> oh, I think he's sleeping. I don't. Yeah, think he no, he's, he's knocked out. He doesn't sleep. He's knocked out. Oh yes, he does. You sure about uh, that? Is, he still in, is he still in Houston? No, no, no he's he back up here. Now. Yeah, he's in Manhattan now. He goes to the he's Yankee the games and all that. Yeah, he works for ESPN yep. New York now. Oh yeah. yes, he does. And guess how? Yeah. What other show he does too? What's that? Russo show too. Nice. No, he's, he's a, yeah, on the radio. Yeah, he's busy. He's super busy. Yeah. Yeah, All right, let's get let's, let's get back to this. On, yeah. Sean's we're, not we're, gonna call in. Come on, Sean. Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> Sean <laughs> left. He said, oh, "I'm done." He did say he's, <laughs> well, yeah. he's like unsub, unfollow, screw <laughs> this. Well, what? <laughs> Why didn't he just keep his comments to itself then? No, no. No, <laughs> no, freedom of speech. Yes, really? freedom of speech. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. You guys for voice of awesome. reason, please pick the Jets pick at eleven. Yes, Fashano. Fashano. All right, let's. That's a good pickup. Uh, all right, we're gonna do this quick. So, because you know, we have a second first rounder. So, the Broncos. Who do the Broncos get? Whew. Anyone? I don't care. Uh, <laughs> J.C. Uh, Latham. Yeah, okay. Liam sounds good. Fulaga. Oh, I'll go right. go with Liam's pick. JC Liam. Where, where is he? Down. He's around. He's a little bit right there, 19. All right. The Raiders. Uh, is there any quarterbacks? 
Uh, uh, Penix. 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 Okay, there you go. Pen- that's, that's smart. <clears throat> Penix. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah they, I, it's, 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 you want a surprise pick? I was going to say Brian Thomas. Get them you know, no, 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 no. You, you leave Brian Thomas alone. Yeah. You leave right. him alone. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, he never got one at 23. Damn it. I just I selected Bo Nix by accident. That's okay. You know the guy. That's all right. He's a young guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I got a theory about this. The yeah. Derek Carr contract is similar to Daniel Jones. They could get out of it after this season. Mm. So Bo Nix could be the quarterback of the future after this season with the Saints. Yeah, but they need some offensive linemen badly. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Bonex. We're in Disney sure. World. There's sure no logic. This is true too. We're in <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Jets. Boner Jets. <laughs> All right. Indianapolis Colts. The Colts. I, oh, I feel like, like Fuaga shouldn't have dropped a 15. All right. Fuaga it is. 16. 16. Seahawks. Who, the hell, who the hell do they need? They need a lot of people. They need safeties. Yeah, they need they a do. lot of that. Yeah, they need edge, too. All right, yeah, Latu. Right. Oh, Cafe Latu. All right, Joe's team. We're going to go with the Jaguars. Quinn Where are they going? Did they need a wide receiver now? Quinn, you... No, Quinn Mitchell, corner. Hey, let's, let's, corner. For, for, Joe, for, for Joe's sake, do a trade. Trade your number one pick <laughs> for the last pick in the draft. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's do the Chiefs. Uh, the yeah. Where no, the Chiefs no, at? No, 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 I'll give the Chiefs no, that. No, no, Mr. Irrelevant is with the Jets. Oh, okay. Two two fifty seven is with the oh. Jets this year. <laughs> two five seven. Oh, no. Right, so trade with the Jets. Oh. Get, get, get Jaguars number two fifty seven for seventeen. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. The so Jets got... get three first round picks. Okay, you guys have a good night. <laughs> 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 have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're, no, we're for 23. We got Bobby, Bobby, before you leave, Bobby, yeah. remember the agreement that we have. Yes, Dan, I will talk to no, him tomorrow. I'm going to call the show tomorrow morning. Just give him 257. All right, thank you. Yeah. Don't make this yeah, real. We'll Let's talk to you tomorrow. Oh, All right, have a good night. Good night, brother. Good night. Yeah, it's going to be rejected. No, no, because Joe's on the other side. He's rejecting everything. He wants this pick. <laughs> What are we getting? What are, what are they getting? Uh, Taron Arnold, corner from Alabama. Corner. Yeah, yeah. All right. I like that. Uh, the Bungles. Uh, Troy uh, Fotano, whatever his name is. I need to go offensive line, possibly. <laughs> whatever yep. his name is. Joey's right. Fotano, the Rams. They need defense. They just lost. Uh, uh, Aaron, Jared Darnold. Verse. Aaron Darnold. <laughs> Whoa. The Pittsburgh Steelers. They always land great players here. Yeah, man. Marius Mims. Uh, give him a corner right. every year. Now, uh, Wait, what do we got? They need they need more of a, a center, but I could see them taking either Newton or Brian Murphy because they're going to lose uh, Cameron Hayward to right. retire. I think they lost. Knee tackle. Him. So Murphy. Yes. Okay. Uh, these guys, the freaking Dolphins, who I cannot stand. Hold uh, on. O line. line, okay. Oh, hey, Amarius Mims, I guess. They could also go EJ too. When you think about it, he's versatile. Who would they go with? Uh, Jackson Powers Johnson, possibly. Let me see here. I mean, they could they could also go Quinion Mitchell because they lost uh, Xavier Howard. That so, makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, so we're going to go with Mitchell now. The Eagles don't they Shot need a Robinson. center? Don't the Eagles need a center? Yes. They do. Who would they go with? Mims, yeah. right? Powers Johnson. Oh, man. I can't even get there. Let's see. Scroll down. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh. Dude, and, and this is going to wrap it up. The Jets with their second of Brian. the... You got to go, Brian Thomas. Thomas. Good. Wow. What a stud. Dr- Whoa. Dude, you imagine... Holy smokes. That's all we can do. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. What a, what awesome. a great draft. Amazing. What a great draft. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Is this your last draft? Yeah, Possibly. I think so. I think we're we're done here. Um I don't not only we, that, I don't think we're really like allowed to do anymore. You know, it's just <laughs> we lose <laughs> ten subscribers every mock draft we do. So. <laughs> <laughs> we work hard for these. 
Yes. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> That was hilarious. So oh, man. I got I got some news here. Um, we are next week. We're gonna do a show at seven p.m. Uh, we're gonna have on Ira from Staten Island right before the draft week. Um, so definitely come through. This should be fun. Really, really fun. Um, you know, you Ira does. Him? How do I get him? Yeah, how'd you get him? I cannot tell you just, what I do to get these people. We just, I'll tell uh, you off. <laughs> we, had, we, we stuck Bobby on him and had Bobby get him for us. <laughs> Bob, oh, Bob, Bob, Bobby's Bob's going to get the thrown in the goes. darkness with Jake Asman. You know that. <laughs> the shadow yeah, realm. I'm really interested. Everyone's got to check that out tomorrow morning, he says. Yeah. Well, I jump yep. on Jake Asman's show every morning, so, so I'll maybe, definitely see it. Uh, you tell do, him, you ever you call in? Yeah. No, I I only called in once, and um, it turned out to be pretty good. It was a really good uh, turnout. But after that, the thing is, with my schedule, uh, you know, me working at the hospital at a trauma center, yeah. uh, it's pretty difficult for me to call in on a regular basis or whatnot. But um, I'm sure you but get I, a lot but of I listen. I listen. Yeah, I listen oh, every day. So and for and for those that say, "Oh, why don't you just call in?" I can't. He <laughs> yeah, blocked man. me. I would I would call him. I would not have anyone do my dirty work, but I would like to just he make was, amends with he the guy. But him on a Sunday night, because Dan messaged me right you after. Should, you should have got Charles. <laughs> Charles goes on the show all the time. Yo, I, I was like, "Hi, uh, hello," and he's like, "Get lost." I'm like, "The fuck yeah, about did I do? <laughs> He's like, "You think you think I forgot about you?" I waited all week for this, and I'm like, <laughs> and then probably, he played he, it. And actually, actually, Zach. I mean, um, Jake probably thought you was a Zach truther, and that's why he banned you. No, 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 no. boy. This one was uh, this was, <laughs> yeah. this one was a tough blow. Dan, you should oh my God. a different name. You could be Kenobel. <laughs> there you go, dude. There exactly. you go. <laughs> You're banned again. <laughs> Shadow ban. Wear a head bandage. Right. Yeah. Or glasses. Be like Clark Kent. He won't you won't notice. Just on the phone and use a fake name. Dan no, I can't do that. Can't do oh, that. Man. Nah, That'd be hilarious. You'd be Dan Pennington. Be hilarious. No, he's Dan cool, Pennington. Man. There you go. That's all. That'll give it actually, away. Actually, someone has that name already on Jake's show. Believe Dan it. Dan Pennington. Yeah, dude. Someone. Someone what? has that name already. <laughs> I see it all. The it time. could be Dan Rogers. Dan, Dan oh, Rogers. there you go. There you go. You guys like my new addition? My, my jersey? Oh, that's the Corvette jersey. Yeah. yeah that's, his, that's his rookie jersey, man. That's so nice. Oh, man. I love it. That would be fun. That would be cool, man. I would like to have him back on here. I would like to have him and Joe at the same time here. I mean, just it would uh, be fun. I'm just saying. So before I came on, I saw a, a report from Albert Breer. He was on a new Boston uh, NBC Sports, mm -hmm. and it was brought up that teams have been calling up the Eagles about AJ Brown, and the Eagles have shot down every team, and the Patriots were one of the teams that called up about AJ Brown. Whoa! And, and yes, the Patriots, and the Patriots have money too, man. They have money to play yes. with. So that means they might go with a uh, well. If they go, they want to make a trade, but there was one fan that said that they would will they were willing to give a second rounder for AJ Brown. You know, not for nothing. Mike Williams reminds me a lot of AJ Brown, a lot when he's healthy. Okay, okay. AJ's a better route runner than Mike Williams. Yes. Now, Joey, I'm, I got I got something for you. If the Jets are relatively healthy the entire season. How far can this team go? Relatively healthy. I mean, I got to expect at least okay. take the division. When we see Lowe's definitely gotten weaker. Miami's weakened on defense. New England's in lead mode. Relatively healthy. We got to be <laughs> five, win the division. And not just not just one of those, you know, actually do something. Make make some noise. Make this mm -hmm. an actual pack season. Yep. Yeah, I agree, man. Um, I'm expecting the world, man, this year. I, I know I should learn from my mistakes, especially last year and especially 99, especially all the Chad years that he was healthy one season, then the next season he's on an IR, then healthy in an IR. Mm -hmm. But I'm expecting, dude, uh, AFC championship game at our house. 
I am. I, I, I am. Phenomenal. I'd fly from, from Florida for that one. Easy. I would drive a half an hour. I'd walk. I'd walk from Long Island. I would cry. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd swim through the swamp. <laughs> I would cry. I, 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 I would get drunk and do drugs for the first time. <laughs> Yo. Second, second time, Mr. Whoa, Afram. Second. What would you do, Mr. Second. Afram? You would go. You would go. I'm only, I'm only thirty minutes away, so I would buy yeah. you a ticket. Would you be cool with that, Afram? I would buy you a ticket. All right, That'd be awesome, right sure. man. With Tyson's money. There you go. <laughs> you have to do another. You have to run sixty miles again. <laughs> I love it when he does that. As long as he's running he, it, I don't care. <laughs> what a yo! He just built different. He's yeah. He, he's built different. But <laughs> I see them as division champs, and I I don't know if you saw this, Armon. I saw that there's a possibility that Josh Allen he might be on the trade block. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's, just, that's, that's, wow. that's, that's exactly that's, it. That's, that's all. Cool. The Bills lost a lot of guys, man. Yeah, insane. That's going to be weird. I think the last I thing Buffalo would do is trade Josh Allen. I think if they don't win it this season, I think the head coach is out and they look for somebody. I think they're the sub – I know there was a rumor about Bill looking at Dallas, Philly, and the Giants after this season if they were to fire their coaches. I would not be surprised. If the Bills fired their coach, if they didn't get to a Super Bowl or AFC title game, and Belichick was the head coach there. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> but I think be that crazy. would be a one-year deal with Allen and Bill. If Because if they don't win, I think Allen, he might not like Bill's coaching. I think that's when you'd see Allen want to get out. Wow. From the – from oh, with, with the Bills. Yeah, if Bill's Belichick wow. was there and they That's failed big. and he just didn't, yeah. because yeah. you would have to hope that Bill learned from his mistake prior when you know burning the bridge with Brady when he tried to trade him to San Francisco, and Brady he, went to Kraft and Kraft forced Bill to trade. I got a question. I got a question. Uh, isn't the Bills staff on the offense? They're more offensive staff, right? The head so, coach is a defensive guy because he did the defensive play calling last year. Oh, okay, 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 okay. They got Joe uh, Brady as their defensive coordinator, something like that. Offensive, oh, no, okay. Brady's the OC. Sorry, offensive. Offensive? Brady's the okay. OC. Now, gotcha. maybe if if they wanted, maybe if they didn't want Belichick and make the big splash to try to go all in, maybe they promote Brady the head coach to try to keep I, defenses with Allen. After I read but that I, article, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to bring Bill in. After and I read that a, article with uh, with Kraft told uh, blank. Oh, uh, blank. Branch, yep, don't don't trust him. I don't see I don't see Belichick ever getting another head coaching job. Uh, I'd I like said, to hang out. Uh, uh, Bill has that cachet. I don't think like, at his age, no one took him. No one. I agree with Mister Afram because I, I I said the same thing. Uh, actually, on Christmas I think Day, it, I think Christmas, because of his, I said he's I think never because of his age. Deal. It limits there. his teams he would go to. It has to be a Super Bowl contender, a Buffalo. Dallas, like it or not, they're always a playoff contender and how weak the NFC is. And Jerry's always going to try to do. What about Shanahan company. not being able to get the job done multiple times? San Francisco. Yeah, that sucks, right? That's, that's, that's what can I, can I say something? Can I say something here? Philly. Le Armand. Liam sounds crisp. Yeah. Thanks. You sound very good, Liam. With that being said, I'm getting ready to hop off. I got work in a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, let me let me throw another bomb here. Let me throw another bomb. Let's say things don't go well with the Jets. We get rid of Sala. Rogers is still here. Would you no, give another here. opportunity to Bill no. Belichick? He's not oh. coming here. No. After what Kraft did to him? He After what like Kraft Woody. did to him? He doesn't care. like Woody. He doesn't no. like Woody. But That's Woody wouldn't be here job in the first place. Woody wouldn't be here. Woody would be like in uh, in England yeah. after November. He, he'd be doing not, Alaska. No, <laughs> he don't want to work for the Johnsons. Simple uh, as that. Man. I don't want him working for the Johnsons. Yeah, I was. He didn't take the job the first the first place. Really? 
Yeah. Uh, I just, I just don't like, I don't, I don't just, I just don't like the way Bill walks, the way he talks, his haircut. I don't like the way he, he, he speaks. I don't like his demeanor. I don't like anything about him. My favorite picture. And if, and if Rogers, and and let's face it, if Rogers is not here, we're back down to rock bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. And and we're we're trading away everybody. It's not a. It has to be a Super Bowl contending team for him. Yes. Yeah. Philly, Dallas, San Francisco, uh, Buffalo. But gentlemen, gentlemen, like not not to cut you guys off, but if Coach Sala leaves, our top three defense will be in shambles after that. No, no, you know, it depends. So? No, it depends on on who comes in. I, again, we have so much star po- power on defense. Um, the the problem with the defense is when these players are about to get paid because yep. oh yeah, a lot that of them they were coming. Yeah, yeah, it's we better win um, something. Soon the the window is now. Like it's not yes, 2025. Yeah. If forget about like that's yeah. one thing that last year you could have like held on to that. Like, look, if we don't win it in 2023, there's always 2024. After that Achilles injury, if we don't win it this year. It's yeah. done. It's over, fellas. That's have, it. That's I, why my expectations are high. I have one question, right? Okay, like let's say things don't go um accordingly this season do you guys think that um coach sala they'd get rid of coach sala yes. and then put Co- coach ulbrich as the head coach i didn't he want to leave that that's the only he, scary no, he part to leave it, it he, was, he just got offers like, it's he, not he, like he wanted to leave he chose to yeah, yeah 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 he listened, yeah 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 that, that was yeah but he was going to do a lateral move like he wasn't going to get, be a head coach like yeah, San Francisco called him up. He, yeah, he's like, yo, yeah. we want you to be a defensive coordinator for us. And he contemplated that. That speaks volumes, dude. Like, yeah. t- Jets, like, whoa. Like, I would think probably an interim. Like, if the Jets start off three and five, I don't I don't I, see Salah. I can see over getting the promotion. Yes, I, there. My preference would want to be an offensive-minded coach for once. You mean yeah, like the offensive guru? But, an offensive. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I'll say this: as much as I would, I would take Oprah to be the interim head coach during the season of Salah's fired. But in yeah. my heart of hearts, and I think we all agree, they would promote fucking Hackett to appease Rogers to be the. Interim oh no, coach. no 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 no! Oh yes, they would. No yes, way! They would. No yes. way. I don't think so. I'm get. I gotta get ready to head off to appease yeah, Aaron Rodgers through. during the season. <laughs> Hackett would be promoted to interim head. Coach. I got. I, I heard enough. I, mean, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> so I gotta go too. Cause my dog is whining. Love no worries, show, guys. Fellas, thank you so much for coming on, Joey. Thank you, man. It means a lot. All right. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. I'll, you guys my... are awesome. Keep calling Eric... in, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mr. Eric, Adam, you take care, Mr. Liam, Mr. Joey, Mr. Armin. You, Dan, the man, my man, pots and pans. That's right, my man. <laughs> Again, Let's get it. Let's get guest it. host, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah, you are amazing. You knocked it out of the park. All you guys, man. Thank you. Yeah, Again, you huge, brought. huge thanks to Matt O'Leary coming on. Uh, Christopher Lepresti as well. Uh, tune in next Thursday, special time at 7 p.m., uh, which will have Superfan on, you know, Iro from Staten Island. So with that being said, guys, have a Just great, on. great weekend. Later, fellas. Yeah.